morning, everyone. I started with the mic unmuted this time. I know that's important to you. Uh, I didn't bring the target of today's stream. It's uh, over in the other room, so we'll have to go get it. Got dressed, took a shower. Um, yeah, good morning, people. Nobody in the chat room yet. Is subscribe only chat on? No, it's not. Okay, I'll be right back. A small keyboard and a Galaxy Z Fold 5, not a OnePlus Open. Do not buy a OnePlus Open. Galaxy Z Fold 5, check it out. Um, yeah. Right? Pretty cool, right? No, we didn't do a muted intro this morning. Uh, the phone, it folds. Look, look, look at it. Look at it. It folds. It folds. That's pretty wild. Okay. Um, so what we're going to work on today is we're going to look into the driver uh, running on this phone. And just plug it in here. ADB shell. We don't actually need the tiny, uh, the tiny keyboard. Well, actually, we do need the tiny keyboard for one minute. I'm going to start up Termox here. Uh, let's see if you guys can see. I'm going to start up Termox here and run SSHD. Okay, cool. Now we have an SSH server running. Now we don't need that anymore because who wants to type on a tiny uh, screen? ADB forward TCP. All right, uh, SSH localhost. I'm going to do this over here. What? Oh, there's multiple of them. Okay, we're in, boys. We're in. OpenCL is not dead. OpenCL is very alive. Look, I can run CL info, and there we go. There's some stuff. Uh, so we have Tmux on here like normal. Uh, we can run Oh, that requires Torch. I think I have Torch. Can I do apt install Torch? Uh, app search torch, Python torch. Uh, so this is Termux. Uh, very cool of these people. They've built a uh, basically a Linux environment that works on on Android phones. Um, I don't think if the screen locks, it gets slower. I'm keeping the phone. The phone is open right here. Connected to my computer, forwarding the uh, forwarding the port. Uh. Oh, you know what? I'm pulling this all over my expensive uh, data. I shouldn't do this. I gotta connect this to my Wi-Fi. Yeah, I'm not on Wi-Fi. Wow, 5G is just so fast that you don't think about it. Um, I only bought 
10 gigs of data. I just connected to my home Wi Fi here. Okay. Should be faster now, so. Although 5G is just so insanely fast. Uh, curl ifconfig.me. Oh, that doesn't tell me anything. I think that's my home IP. Uh, how much did I pay for 10 gigs? I think it was $17. I bought it on one of them eSIM websites. eSIMs are amazing, by the way. Um, yeah, we love eSIMs. Uh, we'll let that install. I, I showered. We ordered some Dunkin' Donuts, so that'll be here kind of soon. Where'd my phone go? I go find my real phone, so I know my Dunkin' Donuts is here. Not here yet. Dunkin' Donuts will be here in 15 minutes. Um, Torch requires F-Spec, which is not installed. Okay, let's just see if this works. So the advantage to using TinyGrad um, is that TinyGrad can use the GPU, while Torch can only use the CPU. Uh, so for things that are this size, it probably doesn't make much of a difference. Oh, it's Alex. Good morning, we're on stream. Oh, hi Twitchies. You want to say hi to Twitchies? Yeah. It's Alex. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing today? Uh, we're, we're, we're working on the, on the folding phone. Oh, you're not. No, no, no. We're, we're working on the folding phone. Yo, some, some, uh, some, the minister of AI from Dubai reached out on Twitter. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, like, he, he talked about, like, look, our country has really nice infrastructure, friendly visa processes. And I was just like, imagine America doing that. No, remember when Francisco Suarez was doing it in Miami? He did this approach. He did. He did yeah, 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 yeah. Like, no, but just imagine, like, the, the main, Amer you know, he has no power. No, but he, he was, he does have some small amount of power and influence, at least locally. That, 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 just... that does make me want Miami more. No, yeah, just, just, good. just, you know, they're throwing it away. San Francisco. Okay. Don't get me started. I've been here for 48 hours. I've seen so many things. No, dude, like, it's uninhabitable. Uninhabitable. Yeah. Um. The film has been nice, but yeah, for the most part. Okay, wait. One thing I learned: Americans are extremely receptive to um, friendliness and coincidence. And if someone is a spy, um, you should just be weary of coincidences. That's all we learned from spy training. Where Where did you go to spy training? I'm not going to talk about it. Can't talk about it anymore. But. You know, I was just thinking about the Russians, the Iranians, the Chinese, you know? I mean, you do have to watch out for spies. That's true. You do. It's already happened to me one time. I didn't, wasn't like, on. wasn't, who was that? Diane Feinstein was like married to a spy? Yeah, I mean, they're everywhere. You yeah. have to be, you have to just be paying attention. That's all. In plain sight. Just don't hey, I'm all for, I'm all for kicking spies out, but you know, how about like, you know, a sane immigration policy where instead of letting in any riffraff who makes it across the border, we either let in everybody or nobody. 
But right now we have right now we have an immigration policy which selects for the criminal element, right? The first thing you have to do to get into America is commit a crime. No, I agree. That's right. It's a huge problem. Do we want to build a nation of criminals? How's it working out for Australia? You're speaking to the choir. Follow this your stream. I see you later. What do you home today or are you home tomorrow? Tomorrow morning, like a noonish. Okay. I love you. Hey, what are Dunkin' Donuts? Yeah, be careful. You're a monster. You're a savage. I wanted a big coffee. So specific. I miss Dutch Bros. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. Uh, no, we don't let in everybody. If you're willing to commit a crime, we'll let you in. Uh, if you are talented and actually want to come here through a reasonable process, there there is no reasonable process. Um. All right, it's subscriber only chat time. So this is using OpenCL, uh, but the question is, what is it actually using from OpenCL? And that's what we're gonna do here today. Uh, so let's open up VS Code. Hello, After Work Tech. Um, let's open up VS Code. Sorry, I'm unprepared this morning. Uh, let me show you guys that in secret there. Um, SSH-P localhost 2022, does that work? Missing host in SSH connection string. Why am I missing the host? SSH-P 2022 localhost. Oh, do I actually have to add it to my config? Okay, we'll do that. Yup, yup, bro. That's how I feel, man. That's how I feel. It's going to shit. It's going to shit. If you're in Rome and you know the empire is falling, what do you do? Okay, is this gonna work? Is this gonna be able to run VS Code Server over here? on my Android device. No, but like you're in Rome and you know it's falling, right? What do you do? VS Code Server failed to start. Oh, well, that sucks. Why did it fail to start? Hmm. Like this sucks. All right. VS Code Server Android Terminus. Okay. Package update. Package install Python yarn shit. Okay. Oh. Great. We have to add L Atomic. You move out of Rome. Yeah, right? Where do you go, though? That's the question.
No, like, you know, we were just talking at dinner last night, and, like, I, I just... I, I would not trust Argentina. Um, I'm not sure these things are going to get better. Oh, code server is this. Oh, this is different. Hmm. Interesting. So, uh, Thailand and Japan, uh, Japan particularly, they're not multiracial. Um, you know, y it's not for you. Is kind of the problem with those places, right? This is also the problem with China. This is terrible. Why is this so slow? So I don't have good Wi-Fi reception in this room. Um, but wait, this isn't really what I want. I want, I want VS Code SSH. Dude. Let me just fix this. Let's see if it gives us any information about the debug. It's not supported. Yeah, Europe's just advanced stages of America. There's no way I'm going anywhere in Europe. Okay, what fails here? Can you can you stop scrolling for a minute, please? Stop scrolling. Removing old log file. Okay. Let's take a look at these log files. This code server. So what if I run this? What's Musil? What's a muscle Musil environment? Oh, by the way. I'm, uh, I don't use uh, ChatGPT anymore. And the best part is we can use this on stream. Uh, it's called labs.perplexity.ai, set it to Mixtral. No, the moon's gonna be absolutely awful. Um. VS Code Remote and Android, let's say. Disgusting. Disgusting. Dead company. Ah. Uh. No, don't can I can I keep the logs please? Okay. Um not here. I, I just have it here. If, if if this doesn't work, the machine must meet Visual Studio standard C dot 
SO. Thank you for gifting subs. Does Bionic not have this? So this thing has no dependencies? Is it a... No, no, what? Why would anyone want that? Is the problem no? Okay, so it uses Node, so it is the same server. I should just be able to follow the server installs. The problem is when it connects using that. So this is the same code server, I think. We just need to figure out what flags to pass to it. Yarn global ad code server. Let's go. Come on, yarn. All right. Just wow, this only has 182 dependencies. That's so lightweight for JavaScript. You disagree that wealth is what's important. What do you think is important? The friends we made along the way? The engine node is incompatible with this model. JS LTS. Wow, the hype train's a different color. Twitch is really promoting something here. No one global ad. Okay. All right, we have to resolve the packages again. Oh, we're linking dependencies. Oh, we're building fresh. Oh, that's good, that's good. All right, what are the odds this is gonna work? Oh, and nope, we're already, oh, we're done. That was good while it lasted. Nice while it lasted, okay. Argon2 failed. This is, this is a joke. Has anyone used this ecosystem? Mario Brain, thanks for gifting subs. Uh, all right, fail to execute this. AR, no such file or directory. Okay, well that I, hopefully I can install Binutils. Well, Binutils is LLVM, oh, I don't know about that. Huh. We just have to get Argon2 to build and then I think we're good. Yeah, Perplexity Labs is awesome, right? Right, unbelievable. Like, why would anyone use... The thing is, even if the model's a little bit worse than GPT-4, which GPT-4 has gotten way worse, they say they haven't changed the weights, but I think they changed the prompt, and I think it's some, like, legal thing. Um, it's five times faster. Install code server. Code server.
Um, I mean, we can also just, why don't we forward? 180, 80. All right, we gotta get the password. Copy and paste not work. But like something like is enable like weird select. Okay, you know what? Why don't we just type it? F D D two E one four nine six D D six D E zero six. Oh, I definitely did this wrong. I definitely did that wrong. How is anyone supposed to use this? Copy. Copy? What is this weird? Oh, it's just some Tmux thing. It's so weird. Is this the look dark modern? Wow, okay, so we're, this is VS code running on the device. Uh, open up your code, open folder. We wanna open tiny grad. Yeah, I trust the authors. Sure. It's pretty crazy, actually. This is just running in Chrome. 16 months, wow. Okay, uh, we gotta get, wait, can I install extensions? I need Vim key bindings. Is that the main one? Oh, this, why does this one show up first? It's so broken. Fire song on Instagram this morning. Don't take this as a political endorsement, but it's by Trump the Don, and it's called Make Em uh, This One. It can't be copyright. Can't be copyrighted. Come on. Well, you missed it if you were on YouTube. Uh, it's actually going to be so sad for the 2020 election and 2024 election is Trump Biden. So sad. So sad. Uh, oh, let's get some Python syntax highlighting in here. Is this just, can I just install? Okay, let's see, did my Vim extension work? Okay, my Vim extension works. Um, Python. Vivek Ramaswamy at least seems smart, which is good. Um, but that means he'll never win. Could have a smart president. They might actually do something. Wait, 
right, so I installed the Python extension. Is this one of these that I have to like restart in order to make it work? Oh, let's restart it anyway. Can't hurt. Wait, this is kind of wild, actually. I didn't know you could do this. Like, I'm just using VS Code in a... Uh... Unable to retrieve MAC address. I don't know about that. Oh yeah, I forgot, we can't copy paste. Well, if I have to type in the password again, I'm gonna be mad. I'm mad. Parcel watcher failed. Cannot create brute force backend. Oh, is this my problem with Python or? I want you to light up. Hmm. Interesting. Look at this, it's installed in the browser. What is the goal? You always think there's a goal. Why do you always think that? Is that how is that how is that how school taught you? Yeah, the reach on Twitter is unbelievable. You know, you gotta hand it to Elon. He really I don't agree with, I really don't agree with the decision to like, like I would, we could look at Twitter right now, but we can't because I'm not logged in. I really don't agree with that decision. But Elon has like, the purchase of Twitter was, Elon did more for the, the like anti-wokist cultural movement than the entire Republican Party. Um, you know, you just look at how ineffective so many billionaires are. Um, like Jeff Bezos bought the Washington Post. Like, Jeff Bezos seems like a cool guy. Why don't you fix the Washington Post? Um, top three countries to move to. Uh, okay, well, we're just not going to have a good syntax highlighting. And that's just fine, because that's just life. You know, if you always have good syntax highlighting, you just... Right. Running file create participants. I don't have high hope for this. Okay, is this the fix that I have to make? Does this seem related? I don't know, let's just try. Um, where's binding jet? Config. All right, is this even here? Okay, well, that doesn't even matter. Uh, should I try to fix that copy paste? Tmox can't copy paste. I 
have to disable the mouse. Actually, can I just connect here now? Or is this gonna, no, it's gonna still try to install the S code server, Never mind. No, useless. Copy and paste out of there now. We're rich. Okay. Load parcel watcher failed. All right, perplexity. What do you say about that? I got Watcher working by installing This looks so difficult. Watcher, currently only Watchman and Brute Force backends are available, okay. No, it doesn't seem laggy at all. I mean, I'm connected over a wire, it's not... Process returning Android. Oh. Okay, maybe this will fix it. Magic string, let's go. Nope. What is this garbage? No, I want the Python plugin. It's watcher.node. Seems like a lot of people like this to work. It's interesting they're editing the same file. But how is this supposed to be reasonable? Okay, 
Let's just try it and see if we can make it work. We don't need Watcher. I don't know why Watcher is important. Go to examples. Let's touch OpenCL uh, IOctal. Wow, this is the effort I'll go to to not have to use Vim. Wait, wait it doesn't work. Activating extensions, I say. All right, disable. Okay, it was related to the Python extension. Fine. Very upsetting. Very upsetting. Okay, let's let's stay on topic here, boys. Let's uh, let's let's stay on topic. All right, good. Tab complete. Oh, this is Vim quality. Oh, this is terrible. Now we have to make Python work. If I eat all this, I'm gonna be fine. I got a breakfast sandwich as well. Pretty bleak. So look, OpenCL is already working. What we're gonna do with the stream? I'm gonna keep eating this. So I'm gonna put it far away. I'm gonna put it far away. It tastes like chemicals. It tastes like chemicals. my Twitter merch. You would not believe. Runs a regex in every file? No, no, no. I need tab complete to work. We can't not have tab complete. We need tab complete. Okay. Um... Besides, isn't this your favorite part of the streams? When I struggle to try to make things work? Okay, so the watcher thing's actually unrelated to this, I think. What the hell's an LSP? Oh, wait, that looks good. No, but now we're stuck on activating extensions. Oh, maybe they're activated now. Nope, we're activating extensions. Nope, can't work. All right, let's see what other Python extensions we have. What, what is this? Why is this crap being advertised to me? What does that icon mean? 
filter extensions, most popular. Popular, wait, this is an extension pack. Pylint, black formatter. I write is not available in code server for web. Hmm. Not available in code server for web, but for some reason this one is. That's so strange. Oh, we don't make me run a container. That's just a tragedy. Well, and if we have a container, I'm not sure we can. I just want. I'm upset. Fine, fine. We, we don't have any. Uh, we don't have any any syntax highlighting. Okay. We have to do this by hand. It's like the old days, boys. Remember when I used to use Vim and not have any of this stuff? How did I ever code for years in Vim and not have tab completion? No idea. Um, okay. Allocator. Uh, well, first, actually, we can just start with device. Let's S trace this. S trace does work, right? There should be some compromise. No compromises, never settle. I have a Samsung. Um, okay, so these are probably the ioctals to the GPU. Uh, now we can look, OpenPilot has some of this stuff. I wrote it in this thing called Fnee, but we're gonna try to do it in Python this time because whenever you can do stuff in Python, life's better. Um, it's in Model D, it's in Fneed, Fneed QCOM2. So this is an ioctal interceptor and these are the names of the uh, Assuming they're still the same. But yeah, these are probably the ioctals for here. We, we, you know what, we can do an allocate. Uh, init alloc. Uh, no, how do we do an allocation? We do. Alec doesn't actually do anything. That's just pure Python. Yeah, it's pure Python. I can delete it then. But yeah, so these two ioctals are the allocation. And now, Control P, disable pylants in the code. Wait, well, Control P doesn't do anything. Let's start there. But I have settings, extension settings. No extension settings. No, it's definitely not related to my firewall. Um, whatever. You know, we just we just gotta we just gotta accept that. You know, um, you don't get everything. You can't always get what you want, right? Like I'd like to live in a country where we have growth and not a country run by D-cells and idiots, but like, you know, you can't, you can't have everything you want. 
Um, I mean, the, the great the great political divide of the coming decade is the accelerationists versus the decels, and like the decels can't win. They don't even really want to win. I I don't really understand the mind of a decel, but the mind a decel is just it's just he's just a loser. Like. You, you, there's no victory in deceleration. There's only victories in acceleration. Um, but, you know, I, I think you have some people who are just... Maybe maybe a phrase is like, die with dignity. Right? The first word you hear is loser. <laughs> uh, what do these cells want to do? They want to die with dignity, right? That's the, that's the end that's the end game of a decel. Acceleration is foolish and naive. Well, you know. Two countries, one accelerates, one doesn't. Who wins in the war? There will only be accelerationists left. Unforeseen consequences maybe, but you're never going to get your world government. Why decels want to decel? That is a great mystery. Um, I mean, moderation is always good, but like, we, we, we can certainly have, we can certainly have debates about, you know, how quickly we should accelerate, sure, but fundamentally, we should accelerate. Fundamentally, um, you know, one of the replies to that tweet, yeah, was the, the Minister of AI from Dubai, and that he talked about how good the infrastructure was in his country. And that's cool. Like, I want good infrastructure. Um, no, 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 we can't raise the retirement age. We cannot raise the retirement age. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's upsetting. I, I don't really want anything to do with any of this stuff. But when, like, this is saying it's, you know, you might not be interested in politics, but politics is interested in you. Uh, and this is, this is a sad truth. Okay, so what we basically want to write is we want to replace uh, OpenCL with the, with a version of the driver that just uses these ioctals. Uh, but first, what we're going to have to do is, is sniff the ioctals. Um, so let's think about if we can do that. Uh, how do we hook hook native function in Python? Is it possible? No. I want to do like, oh, okay, yeah. Uh, doesn't seem right. Yo, can we make this work? Okay, so what I yeah, what I want to do is hook ioctal in in Python. Um, so let's think about that. What we can do? Where does ioctal live? Uh, my complexity labs. This is Android. We have crappy. Uh, oh, type. Python 
three is hashed. I don't know what that means. Libc, not dot six, because this is Android. Okay, we have a funk pointer object. Um, so this is in libc. No, we're trying to hook, we're trying to hook the native function. You see what I mean? No, no, it's not an implementation. That's not what we want. Um, Python hook That can't possibly work. Oh, I'm not on the Mistral model. Yeah, good point. No, whatever. Oh, too much tabs. Where's my settings? Awful. No. What does this also modify elsewhere? Do not detect indentation. We always use two spaces. That's right. We, we're, we use spaces, but we're not going to debate about that. Because debate is stupid and monarchy is cool. Um, okay, there's no way that's actually going to work. This just changes the pointer in the DLL. Um, let's think about what's actually happening here. So, I guess like, um, I mean, okay. Let, let, let's just let's just go extreme with this. Uh, let's actually edit libc. This is maps, so we're gonna have to. We have to get the address. be a C int or really we want it to be a C long and that's C types dot C long. At least that works. Cast is not defined. Yeah, C types dot cast. Wish I had syntax highlighting. Must be a pointer type, not C long. Okay. Wow, this thing actually kind of sucks. Value of the pointer. Oh, 
That's definitely not right. Stop hallucinating. Raw. That might work. No, what attributes does it have? Contents? Okay, cool. Is that really right? Seems crazy to me. Oh, that's probably not a rep. That's probably actually the code. So What I do to hook this in uh, in need here, uh, wherever my, what I do to hook this in need is like, this is just an interceptor and I do it by, uh, by linking. But we shouldn't really do it by linking. Like linking's kind of ugly. How do I, I mean, there has to be a way. Hook native function. Which model is this? Mixture? What if they're not actually running this model? So, might be that. Ugh, this thing's so bad about hallucinating. That is the actual address. Notice how it changes due to ASLR. Uh, so, okay, that's actually correct. Um, so that's giving us the pointer to the function. Uh, C types is particularly annoying about this. It doesn't really, at least it doesn't like you to create a, uh, Got an example? What is this Frida thing? What is Frida? Oh, this is interesting. Okay. Frida's core is written in. This is easy to install. Nope, not easy to install. 
need Frida Core dev kit to build from source. No, see, this is the problem with all this stuff. Like this thing might be great, but this isn't usable. We can like look at what it's doing. Frida spawn exclude ioctal. Ioctal. That's fancy. Um. Okay. The other thing that we could maybe do, so Ioctal is a syscall. We could potentially attach to our own process and hook the syscall. I don't think we want to do that though. Um. Whoa, 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 okay, Let, let's try something. Forget doing this by ref. How do I set the, how do I set a pointer? C types is so poorly documented and these hallucinating models are not helping me. You know who might not hallucinate? Technium. So this is Tiny Grad. This is this is Quentin from uh, you know my boy Quentin. Uh, how do I write? to a pointer in C types. What does the memory location of points to? Create a pointer object, okay. Pointer dot, oh, I can just do dot contents equals. Oh, cool. Well, I don't know about that, but. See, value, this one hallucinated, Never mind. Perplexity, you gotta fix this shit. I don't know if it's the model or I don't know if it's how you're running it, but it's been hallucinating. And we do not approve of hallucinations. Okay, so like equals zero, I don't know, does that work? Uh, expected cu long instead of int. Okay, what if I do cu int? Is it gonna switch me out? Um. Do that. Okay. Now what happens when you try to call Ioctal? Does it work? It works. Lame. Um, no, I mean this one's pretty good. Overall, it's quite good. When it's not, I'm asking you two specific stuff, maybe. I, I, I'm shocked if Mixtral is actually hallucinating that much. I, I think it's it might be an issue with that perplexity is running it. I, I shouldn't say that without evidence, but this is hallucinating a ton. Like the fact that I put the thing wrong, like let's see if I do it here, what Quentin says. Yeah, no, this hallucinates too, Never mind. See what I mean? Because it's actually dot by, there's no underscore. Uh, so that's hallucinating too. That's lame. Okay, um, so I changed this. Like I thought that this was actually What if it's not actually calling? Can I have GDB on here? Mm. 
awesome. By the way, super cool. This I think it's the Afteroid guys doing Termox. Like this is amazing that I'm doing this on Android. Um, and you know who sucks? Google. Uh, Google is the reason Bionic is an abomination and it was brought into this world and it's awful. Um, and now nothing's ever gonna switch off of it. And now we have this other broken libc implementation. Oh, let's uh, let's print the ioctal address and make sure that's right. Oh, that's very early. Uh... This is almost the same as this, but not exactly, which is interesting. I mean, it's interesting, right? Why is that not exactly that? Sure looks like it's that. Why was the breakpoint there? Why is it there? Okay, regardless. Um Yeah, okay, so this crap actually is the, it just didn't actually write to it. Why didn't it actually write to it? Should have at least faulted, right? Like this looks like it succeeded, but it didn't. address of a pointer. Can I do that? So that's contents. How do I get the address? Do a DIR of contents. Maybe a setter exists? No, I, I don't think so. I, I think that it's, yeah. I mean, like what's stupid about this is I guess I can just use, uh, can I just use memcopy? Just use memcopy, right? Um, Mem set even more brutal. All uh, right, can I just do this? libc dot mem set ioctal address. What are the args to mem set? I always get the order confused. Uh, pointer value num. Okay, I don't know. Set like ten of them. Is that gonna work? Segmentation fault. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's see where it's segmenting. 
run open open pilot oh uh, examples open CLI opto okay uh, received in seg fault info well, let's see can I do like print Uh, no, that can't be right. Wait, what? Oh, I probably have to set the arguments. Uh, how do I do that? We can also do that to make it generic. Um, no, yeah. maybe that works. Oh, can I just do address? Okay, uh, let's see now what this does. Null pointer access. Okay, we're getting that again, but maybe it's different this time. Yeah, okay. So I think this actually is the ioptal address. Yeah, it is, okay. But we can't actually write there because we have to m protect it. Um, good thing we're on Android and not iPhone where this isn't allowed. You know, you guys, like, I can't believe the dumbass comments where people are like, you can't install other browsers on iPhone. George Hans doesn't know what he's talking about. You could just go in the app store and download Chrome. Yeah, okay. One day you'll figure out why you're an idiot and, uh, you know, you'll double down on being an idiot because you'll never, you'll never, you'll never reflect on and you'll go through your whole life like this. And it's, it's sad, man. Like, like, you know, um, Okay, so my mem set's correct now. We're just gonna have to m protect. I think it's protect m protect. Okay. Uh, good to see dot m protect. But people like don't know you can do this. Like Python is the most beautiful programming language in the world, and you know you can access all of C from it, and you can like use it in these cool ways, and then it's Python. Okay, uh, I don't know. It's gonna work? No way. Seven. Seven's a good number. Let's try seven. Okay, same problem. My protect isn't working. Yeah, my protects giving me minus one. Uh, why minus one? Why do I have to? It's because I have to round this.
Hmm. Illegal instruction, boys. Illegal instruction. All right. Uh, let's Generic. Okay. All right. Now, of course, my instruction's illegal because we mem set it. Right, but notice what we did. Okay, so we M protected the whole page to be writable, and then we mem set it. Oh yeah, 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 boys. Yeah, this is the real. This is a real metal shit. Tim Dillon lyric. I don't even know really who Tim Dillon is. I just I just remember this was on a like he was like freestyling on a podcast. Chilling in my rover, American Empire is over. I was like, damn, damn, this is so true. That's so true. So sad. So sad. Bye bye, American Empire. Um, do I have any advice for a uni fresh bro? Bro, listen, man, listen, listen, listen. All right, look, 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 look. Okay, first, you gotta, you gotta go to the junkyard and you gotta buy twelve mufflers, right? And then you put these twelve mufflers on a table and you set up this table outside your house. But the trick is that you apply for a permit as a lemonade stand, but you're actually selling mufflers. But this is actually legal due to the Harrison Stamp Act of 1964. Okay, now you have your twelve mufflers on a table. Nobody's buying them. This is fine. That's a tax write-off. Right? <laughs> you ever seen these like Instagram videos that give like fake hustle advice like that? I love it. <laughs> mufflers, man. I gotta sell mufflers, man. Make everyone's car quieter, you know? Guys, guys, gotta make your cars quiet. Buy some mufflers, right? All right, but then you're gonna parlay those bufflers into holographic Charizards. Do not buy first edition. First edition, the market's about to be flooded with them. You gotta get the second edition Charizards, but from the original set, you know, the ones that had the Blastoise on the front. Not, not Metal Raiders and not uh, Magic Ruler, man. Blue Eyes White Dragon. You gotta get your Blue Eyes White Dragon, okay? You hear what I'm saying? All right, we're good. 3,000 hit points, but you gotta tribute two monsters to summon your blue eyes white dragon. You can also tribute two monsters to summon a dark magician. I don't know why you do that because you get a summoned skull and it has the same 2,500 attack points, okay? Summoned skull. But I got my catapult turtle and my magical scientist out there on my first turn. You didn't even get a turn, bro. You didn't even get a turn. All right. Did, 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 did we, when are we playing Zelda again? You guys can, should we play some Zelda? No, we, we have work to do. Let's be work on work. Okay. Um, illegal instruction. Well, that's not good. Uh, okay. What's the, what can I intercept? What can I intercept from Python? Okay. So first let's, uh, C types dot, Create string buffer. Um, we can do something like type error. Oh, obviously, it's Python three boys. All right. Check out my new hat instruction. This is a great instruction. Okay, arm 64 uh, breakpoint instruction. All right. Um, no, this is not arm 64. 
Arm 64. Oh, you just included debug break. Yeah, what do you think this is? Oh, it's too complicated. No, I don't need to use Rust or Assembly. Yeah, use C types. That's right. Thank you. To trigger a software breakpoint. Okay, we have to call Python somehow. Where did that come from? What, what called that? Is Addy? No, I don't care about that. The question is how did it get to there? Where's the pointer to that? It's the stack. I don't know. I don't even know how to find that. Um, do you want to understand the difference between the CPU and G GPU? Yeah, one letter, bro. quickly test my methodology. What's the return instruction? Uh, we can just get them from here. Oh yeah, yeah, undefined, that's right. That's right, you deserve undefined. Okay, so this is return. Wow, that's kind of a crazy return. That can't be return, is that return? Wow, that's just a normal return. right at the last minute. Can you move them imports up to here. Okay, good. Now we're getting an open CL error because I bricked your IO control. That's right. Oh, another another interesting song. Come on, this can't be copyrighted. This can't be copyrighted. Uh, there, there's just one part of it. Like, like, I've just listened to that verse, you know? Um, the reason you spend time with me is because I love philanthropy. <laughs> you know? Uh, it's just this, this hyper-rapt. Uh, 
Also, I love that like the kids are into like they know the internet was good in the '90s, man. So they're into they're into '90s uh, '90s uh, internet stuff. No, it's just the, it's like the energy of this. You know, it, it's interesting that like these kids are making songs about what my life was like when I was like 20. You know. Um, You know, like, 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 uh, like Monster Energy Drink and like Oxy and like, you know, hacking iPhones. And like, this was, this was, this was a true understanding of what my life was like when I was 20. Um, but it's, it's cool. It's cool that like, yeah, that, that this is what the, the kids have figured it out. Um, which is cool. So now we just need to save the dying globalist American empire. Uh, okay. We, we hacked it to return, but we don't actually want to return. We want to hook it. Um, yeah, so really, if we can find the PLT, this might be better. How do I find something in the PLT? I used to know this stuff so much better. Um, so I want to do IOCTO PLT. Yeah, there it is. Wait, what? Right. Instructions. Interesting. So, so even more true to all here. All the pointers are here. How do I get this? I played ritual for you guys to this chunk has these has all the pointers in it well, they're probably like the relocks of the process that's pretty awful actually uh, it's better if we can actually hook the, the real program okay um, I can intercept a signal in Python. So I'm gonna have to raise a signal. Is signal a syscall? I think it is. We'll give we'll give uh, we'll give mixture another chance. Do you think it's right? 
And then which uh, abort debug exception? Which endianness is this? Illegal instruction. Did I get the endianness wrong? Illegal instruction. Thanks, shitty language model. No. Can you access can C types access the PLT? Oh, Google's so bad. So bad, so bad. We think that's more right. this works. Low. Be lack. Okay, thank you for being honest. But none of these things are right at all. Oh, well this doesn't have ARM 64. Did I just miss it? Was it just right there and I just didn't click it? AR64. Okay. Okay. Well, I can't see it. Okay. Well, it's not that. Is it this? Not applicable. Okay. Uh, service. Well, maybe this stuff's right. Who just trusts LLMs? Stop trusting LLMs, okay? They're liars. Bad system call. Okay, well that's kind of an improvement. Um, Import signal, raise signal doesn't work. Uh, where are the... What's the best way? We need to like trampoline back into Python. Uh, does C types handle callbacks? That's really what we want. Okay, how to call a Python function with C. Um, okay, 
Okay, that looks cool. So can we like, what if I, is this gonna work? Wait, is this just gonna work? This would be so cool. Uh, we really need to do the PLT though, at that point. We don't want, where are those PLT things? I don't really want to have to intercept stupid ioctal. Jay Blow, welcome, welcome your people. Um, this is a pretty low level stream. Uh, so I think uh, it should be similar-ish uh, to the kind of stuff you're working on. What we're trying to do is we're trying to hook ioctal from Python. Um, so we have the OpenCL driver on the system calling uh, ioctal. Yeah, I'm SSH into Android, so this is Android. Uh, for those new, this is the phone right here. It's a Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5. Definitely not a OnePlus Open, because OnePlus sucks! Uh, yeah, and I even have a tiny keyboard for it. You know, this is my tiny setup. Um, you know, very appropriate for a tiny grab. Uh, so, OpenCL works. The problem is not with OpenCL. The problem is I want to go a level lower. There's okay, so here's your OpenCL API, right? CL create kernel, CL alloc memory, CL, you know, uh, stick a int in the shit, right? Like like CL set kernel arc. That's what I meant. Um, so we have that at this layer. And then we have the kernel layer for the GPU. And I'd rather just tiny grad talk directly at the kernel layer. But we don't code in C anymore. We only code in Python. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to hook ioctal. Um, we're hooking ioctal from Python to intercept it and make it do things. And let's see what's going to happen. Okay. Uh, C dot C int is not defined. Okay. Well, what type does ioctal have? It's probably a good thing to think about. Did I root the phone? No, it's not rooted. Um, I got the wrong model. So I can't root it, uh, but we can, just, this is all the same. You want to find an exploit? Like this is all the same stuff as finding an exploit. So just, you know, okay. So we have a callback object. I should be able to get the address of it. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to point my octal there instead. Um, login types, error check, C funk type, cast to address. Oh, check it out. Address off, maybe? Okay, address off seems to work. So we just want to point ioctal there to this callback instead of where it's currently pointed. Um, so we could do this by actually hooking the ioctal call, but I'd rather do it in the PLT. Okay, so it BR17, LDR. And it adds something inexplicable to it? What? Okay, well, this isn't even right anymore. Yeah, we could do that. Already a PIP, look at that. Um, Wow, you're 742 years old, man. Uh, okay. So this is actually working to hook ioctal itself, but I'd rather not hook ioctal itself. I'd rather figure out what the stub is that calls into ioctal and where that pointer is. Um, so I don't know how we're gonna find that. It's easy to find 
And then the other problem, no. There should only be one global ones of these, right? Like this gets into some, some nuance of how dilate actually works. Does this actually just work? What's that? This might be easier than I think. Uh, let's go to GB here. Get all these things to shut up. Mm, it doesn't look like anything. I think that's just actually creating a special new C types thing, which is kind of useless. Um, So that's ioctal there. And you see we're getting bad syscall because I changed the first thing in ioctal to be service B. So we could actually hook it there. Uh, I think if I remember the PLT stuff correctly, it was here. Yeah, okay, here. Ioctal got PLT. That is the symbol we want to find. How do I find that symbol from inside Python? Wow, like I used to know this stuff super well, and now I don't. Um, got plt. Blah, 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 blah. Global offset table is nice. Examine the section headers, that's nice. Um, the other beautiful thing about doing it like this is it should be architecturally independent. Uh, yeah, we, we have to find basically this pointer somehow. How did I find it? It was in hex 16 when things got handed to me. C types find dot plt. Okay, how does this work? This works by using dlsim. There's no way dlsim is going to get me this. This has to just be some, some GDB magic. Though if we can get the base pointer to the got, we could search it. And I don't know what info segments. GDB print segments. Info files. Maintenance info sections. Okay, here, got PLT. Um, of course, this is actually wrong. Because that's, well, actually, I guess that's the got PLT of the uh, Python. So annoying. Um, yeah, okay, how does that work? Apex? What is this? 
Is there another libc that's, I don't know what Apex is, but whatever. Um, can I see the symbols exported from this? Yeah, these are the symbols exported. I don't think there's gonna be anything God or PLT related, unfortunately, because they're not symbols. Yeah, they're not symbols. Uh, and we can get a symbol and then just like search for it. That's pretty terrible though. Context for what we're actually doing. Uh, this is okay. So these symbols are imported from uh, Dialid, or it might just be Dialid on the Mac. Uh, and you can get symbols from an imported library. But is there anything more I can get? DL error, DL open. Take handle, deal info. Ooh, 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 ooh. TLS data, useless. Library search paths, link map. This might work. Does someone have Python code to do this? The C types library, what? What are you saying, bro? Obtains a point of the link map structure. Okay, dynamic section of the shared object chain of loaded objects. Origin, seer info size. No, it's not any of these. Oh, this is complicated. Oh yeah, symbols can have versions, by the way. Give us my octal. It's really easy just to actually patch it. The problem is then we have to make a trampoline. Like we have to patch it back. Maybe that's not that big of a deal. Uh, no, but it's still annoying because we have to actually assemble a trampoline then. If we can figure out how to find the PLT, we should be able to not need to do that. We want to find the got PLT. And we want to change this address. We need to find this magic number. Um, how is we need the got plt of libc? So we need this. Am I really shifting to Dubai? Well, not tomorrow, but yeah, I mean, if things don't look up here, right? Like I'm not, you know, I'm not going crazy and renouncing yet, but like it's, it's very bad. But yes, you guessed off topic. You're right. Wow, I get distracted so easily. We need to put subscriber only chat back on because I don't think that person was a subscriber. I know it's nice to include the new people, but new people have dumb things to say. That's true. Uh, and now we're going on a rant about new people. Which is, which is, uh, you know, okay. Oh, 
Okay, let's think about how this library works. Let's think about how DL sim works. I don't know, you want to read the code for dialed? It's Mac. Yeah, it's Mac. What's the one on Linux? libdl. DL adder. What's DL adder? Translates address to symbolic information. Is DL adder one? DLM open. Historically, this functionality now relies in libc. Oh, not this. Oh, not that. Where's like the code that, where's this code? Can we just read it? Sim, DL sim. Is this actually it? Should we just look in glibc? Uh, let's download glibc. Can we still download it from the good old tarball? Man, I love this old school. Look at this. Uh, how do I download this? Well, can you download it? Oh, HTTPS. Or we can use an FTP server. How do you guys feel about that? Exe is so much better. Hmm, let's read glibc. I trust the authors of glibc, I'd say. Uh, DLSIM. DLSIM.c. Here we go. Okay, DLSIM implementation. DL error run DLSIM do it. Okay, one well calls underscore DLSIM. Okay, where's underscore DLSIM? It's here in DL dash sim. Oh, it's in calls do sim. Okay, let's try do sim. Ah, here's do sim. Okay. Link map the caller if needed. Search the global scope. Call DL lookup. G scope lock. Does anyone want this? Everything should just be written in Python. It's only readable. GL lookup symbol X. Is that a function? Search loaded. We have to check whether this would bind undef map to an object in the global scope, which was dynamically loaded. Something went wrong. Fill in 
dot plt header dl trampoline thrice the got plt offset undo the pre what that's if it's mips arm uh, dl mock plt okay dl info plt Okay, this looks like I can get me the PLT got. This is probably the easiest way to do this. It is this RTDI link map thing. Okay. Dynamic section of the shared object. What is that? This looks somewhat useful. Let's try this. Okay, we have to see if we can get the, okay, we'll get the got, we'll fetch IO control, we'll get the got, we'll find the function, we'll set the function to the callback, and then we're good. Um, Type C structure, cool. There's a bunch of fields, Ew, too many tabs. Um, DL info, okay. Are we getting DL sonar from? Fine library DL. Cool. Temp DLL call JLink handle so I can do libc dot handles. Here I have to buy link map. I need a link map. Uh, go here. Oh, by the way, remember we're doing this on Android, boys. We had to make it hard. We're playing on hard mode. This isn't Linux, okay? Undefined symbol DL info. Mm. No, don't tell me Bionic doesn't support DL info. Can't be no symbols in that. Oh, of course, Bionic doesn't support it. What's DL iterate P header? Just when I was talking about Android, okay. Returns in the order in which they were loaded. The ELF program headers. Okay, this looks even better. Oh, God. Even QNX supports this. Python P trace. Fingers crossed. I 
section C function type instead of function. That's fine. I can just do this. Expected C function type instance instead of C function type. Oh, wow. See, I just love how fast this is. Oh, but it still didn't do it. Oh, I see. Does that work? No, it's probably hallucinating again. Wrong type, okay, well. Um. I think that I don't actually need this. I think I do need this. Take an eyeliner like a um, boxy. Got a call back, but walk through shared objects. One, continue iterating. Just something's a little wrong, but that's so cool that we're getting a call back. Okay, program header at zero. That's probably not right. Contents v adder. I don't know what's v adder. Um, what if I just do pheader.contents? But I feel like I should be getting multiple callbacks. This should, wait, so is this, deal iterate pheader. Should that show me for all loaded objects or just the main program? Walk through list of shared objects. Um, okay, well, this just doesn't match this. These things suck. Maybe we're supposed to return zero and not one. Of course, of course it's backwards. Of course, of course, of course. Uh, okay, that seems right, but I think we need to get this struct right. That looks even stupider. Uh, whoa. So this library has it? There we go. Um, that looks wrong too, but whatever. 
a system uint. Base address of the object, path to the library. What? Is it really a half? Oh, w half. Short. Okay, let's call this. Let's print p header dot contents dot delippy name. Let's check out the delippy names. Uh, nothing. An indented block after class definition. Oh. Where did, what is that? Okay, there we go. Look. Look at all our beautiful libraries. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, that's so. Those are beautiful libraries, boys. Look at all them beautiful libraries. That's the one we care about. Now we just got to find the got VLT, find the IOPL address, swap it out with a Python callback, and we hooked it. Crazy fast, right? Okay. Um, I think those are right. DL iterate p header. Okay. Pointer to the array of elf program headers. Uh. First person in chat who finds what? I'm gonna find shit. I mean, there's nothing to find. I just gotta actually do this. Program to the array of elf program headers. So one of the program headers specifies the uh, got plt, I believe. So we can do read elf on this. So what are the program headers? No, those are the symbols. I just want headers, program headers. Okay, L. Let's make sure I'm actually getting the thing I want. Uh, what? Program headers. Look at the section headers. Don't tell me I need section headers. Those are just symbols. Did I pick the wrong button? Section headers. No, oh, that's Dyneson. That's not what I want. Oh, it's capital S. Okay, there, got PLT right there. So I want the section headers. This gives me the program headers. How do I go from program headers to section headers? Uh, yeah, okay, that's the segments, that's great. What are we trying to do here? We're trying to hook IOCTL so we can see the IOCTLs and parse them from beautiful Python. And this is going to be universal and we're gonna build the best tool set for debugging all these GPUs. So it's important to get this right. We don't wanna half-ass it. Okay, the got PLT is here. 
puts in this load segment, which is actually useless and we're never going to be able to find it unless we can get these segments. There has to be some nicer way to do this. That's cool though. We, we've learned we've learned a lot about um, dialet here. Okay, these are our these are our options. That looks like the only reasonable one, unless DL Sim could somehow magically do what we want. Yeah, I know it's from from BSD. Um, but it's an absolute tragedy that they use this. The symbol. Sec comp. I'm installing sec comp. No, like ideally what I'd like is if the DL sim returns the address. There's got to be like some other way to get the uh... to get the trampoline function. I'm trying to think about it, if like I could find something that calls I/O control, because this this is going to be so annoying, right? I'm going to have to go through and basically. Sure, iterate through the program headers, iterate through the section headers. Um, no, S traced doesn't do what I want. Yeah, you, sure, you can get it with S trace, but I want to get it into Python and make it nice. You know, this whole hopefully the lesson you guys have learned from this stream is that you got to spend time to set up your environment nice because once your environment's nice, everything else is nice. What does DL open return a pointer to? Well, this is the libc. This is the uh, what is the DL open struct? No, well, it's kind of stupid too. We could just search the entire space for the pointer to ioctal. Okay with not using Ioctal. I could probably Okay, we don't want that to die. How do I break? Was 
better GDP, I wouldn't have to copy paste like that. Okay, wait, that's M protect? What? No. Oh, I just copy and paste with the wrong thing. Um, Maybe it's this. So this is the Python trampoline. What's very interesting about it is it looks, that looks like I can just, that looks relocatable. Yeah, okay, that might be the easiest way to do this. I can take the code from the callback and mem copy that over ioctal. Um, I don't want to redirect standard error to null. Okay, let's figure out how to get the actual code of that callback. C function type object. So normally I just pass in these callbacks. Yeah, I pass in the callback here. Um, and that's handled. I don't actually need that. And that's handled automatically by C types. There's like C types dot address of that gives me an address, but we've established that that's not actually. Uh, I want to deref it. I don't think contents works. Yeah, it doesn't have contents. Um, maybe I can cast it to a. Void pointer. C void pointer cannot be interpreted as an integer contents. Uh, long pointer. C long. Doesn't work. Uh, must be a pointer type. long cannot be interpreted as an integer because we need dot value. Okay, so that's probably the actual data. Now we are going to get libc and get ioctal. There's my mem copy. We're going to mem copy, but instead of mem copying from a string buffer, we're going to mem copy and then we're going to call CL device, which is going to call ioctal. We'll clean this up in a minute. Um, so, not address.contents, where did that come from? So I don't need the by ref there, I see. And then this one we can also do pointer.contents. 
and I don't know, let's give it hex 40 or something. All right, let's see if it prints the word here. Prints the word segmentation fault, okay. Well, it's something anyway. Segmentation faulting. Oh, it's because I didn't M protect. Uh. Yeah, I think we actually want to do this also by wrap. Bus error. Okay, well. That's an interesting problem. I didn't know we had a bus. Oh. It's probably working. It's not printing for some reason. Yeah, um, I don't know, let's just call IOPTO. Call it zero, doesn't matter. Okay, bus error. That looks right. Oh no, ADR crap. PC relative address, no, useless, useless. You see the problem? Okay, well this is not relocatable then, that sucks. Um, the callbacks are not relocatable, that's great. Don't want to have to do that again. Okay, I mean, we can try this. This is the pointer to Ioctal. Um, we might be able to find that. Uh, libc memory find. It's called like stir stir or something. Yeah, but I want this. Is this calling, is there something called mem mem? libc.memmem mem. Uh, io control address oh oh this is oh this is this is leak boys this is this is lead as shit all right uh, okay we're gonna search there for and we want a pointer to that. Bro, let's just call that one bro. Is that gonna work? Zero. That's not good. 
uh, finds a substring haystack. Uh, C types create string. Is this C types uh, bytes? No, I don't think this by ref thing works. Um, Oh no, maybe this should be dot contents and this should be like that. Wait, did that just work? Uh, I think I have to say that libc mem mem returns a mem mem dot res type equals c types dot So you see what that's doing? It's searching this for that. So beautiful, so beautiful. Just search. You didn't search hard enough. You didn't find it, you didn't search hard enough, bro. Okay, that might just be the got pointer I'm looking for with one call to libc mem mem. Man, this is why I'm famous. Uh, okay. Copy opt. No, that should not be what the problem is. Oh, again, I forgot the unprotect. Oh, we're not even going to need that unprotect, you know? Uh, I just really want to look here. Yeah, I octal got PLT. Lipsy mem mem, bitches. Gotta know about mem mem. It's like gang gang. Stir stir. Gang gang. You know, like every time he comes in the room, he says, what's up, bitches? You know, but not that. <laughs> um, yeah, TikTok core, man. These TikTok kids. TikTok kids, okay. All right, bro, bro. We got a bro, bro. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, okay, void p bro.contents equals. Oh, you got, you got to keep this all straight, man. Um, can I just do bro.contents equals callback? Yo, if that works. Yo, if that works, that'd be, that'd be the sickest thing. Um, int. No, 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 no. It shouldn't be an int. Why is it an int? It should not be an int. I told you the res type was a was a void pointer. Uh, that should not be an int. Just got in where we're at. How long have you been on this stream, bro? If I listened to everyone who said that stuff, what would I do? Uh, about that, don't worry about that. 
I can't say bro contents because int, it's an int object. But it shouldn't be an int object. I told you the res type was a C type void P. Now you can't just say bro equal to callback. Bro, that's not gonna work. Wouldn't that work? Need to convert it to a void p. Does that work? It might work. I don't know. void p has no attribute content. I see long p, fine. Does a long p work better? Oh, we aren't doing a long p, we're doing a void p. I don't know, maybe that's the problem. No attribute c long p. Okay, fine. C u long c times pointer. Let's go, let's go. What's up, bitches? Oh, uh, it doesn't work. Okay. C times u long object. Row equals callback. Right, let's go. Uh, that's fine, I think. I'm not sure about that. Okay, well, it doesn't work. Um, Row.contents.value. That should be the I octal address. Oh, that probably isn't how that works, actually. This might just work. Just put that up here. Yup, 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 yup. Go, go, go. No. Um, interesting. We've changed it, but I worry it's not actually changing the underlying memory, and this is just some, like, stupid, uh... Stupid thing. Whatever. Reason that copy. Copy to bro, bro. Why can't I mem copy to bro, 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 bro? Just, just bro. Just, just, just bro. Oh, this, this is a C type stuff. U long. I'm gonna tell it's a U long. Uh, I don't put any underscores on U long. I'm not hallucinating like an LLM. No way, bro. Uh, okay, that does something. Um. Okay, the mem copy is failing. Do we have to m protect that? Is that protected? No, it can't be protected. Should be right. Oh, maybe the problem is callback. Um. Well, I mean, this should at least work. No idea that that uses something else though, so that's not gonna work. Okay, what? Why doesn't this work? Um, okay, do I need to unprotect it? Maybe I need to unprotect it.
same if I did like that dot value, right? Okay, those are the same. Why isn't my mem copy working? Why does my mem copy say false? Let's see. that protected? Was this the problem? No, this isn't the problem. Wait, that does not have what I thought it would have in it. But I do that exact thing down here. I don't understand. Oh, no, I mean, it can't really be this, but I mean, that is bugged. Store is just failing. Um, we don't actually need seven there, just six is fine. Okay. Why is that returning minus one? Interesting. Why is that mProtect failing? Permission denied. But also that does not look like a real address. Oh no, it must be the address, that's fine. Oh, prot write prod exec, that's not what I want. Uh, prot read and prot write are what I want. So which one's exec? Three? Oh, that's a different error. Okay, my protect succeeds. I don't know what that is. Okay, actually, let's see if we're jumping in the address. Do we have EIP control? Wow, this is, I haven't hacked anything in so long, boys. Uh, okay, well, something's messed up in IO control. Uh, oh, well, that just might be because that's fine. Okay, that's just because this is a dumb IO control. Uh, let's see if my interceptor is online. Is the interceptor online? No, the interceptor's not. Okay, what? I am protected it. I copied something there. Bus array. Wait, wasn't that failing before? Uh, zero. Thank you for gifting subs. What? Wasn't that failing? 
change. Does that fail? Plus that. Okay, whatever. I just need GDB to intercept. Okay. Is that calling IO control or something? Okay, that's correctly rewritten with what I'd expect. Interesting. It's finding IO control address in the got. Okay, is Addy is calling it. Okay, so we're actually calling it here from that. But init device works okay. Does it only work in GDB? No. Uh, could it not be calling it through the got somehow? Oh no. But what's so interesting is if I enable this, it breaks, but it breaks by jumping to the address, which is so weird. Um, okay, let's try callback here. address of callback. It's like this. Segmentation fault. back here, I think. So why is that by ref? That shouldn't be by ref. Uh, maybe it just doesn't do anything. Probably just do anything. Okay, we're jumping to there from is Addy because Python's trying to call Ioptal probably. No, it's trying to call Chudi IR. But Chudi IR in the PLP, interesting. It is the real IOCTAL address, right? Definitely the real IOCTAL address. The thing that we're updating is this. I don't exactly understand why 
we have to M protect it. Okay, it's very clear that the thing we're updating is that. So why is chdir broken? It's the right number of bytes. I'm not over copying anything. Um, why is this failing? Then add it's two twenty eight. Why does it? Okay, what's possible is that like it's not emitted yet. I've seen this be a problem before. We could just write a stub. If this really doesn't work, we can write a stub, but I don't want to have to do that. Why is why is that wrong? Okay, let's try something. Let's just see quickly if it's possible that my M protect is breaking it. Unhashable type? Trying to hash it. Oh, let's just change that. Expected CU long instead of int. M copy is not doing what we think it's doing because this should change then. Or no. That's the pointer. We want to dereference that. How do I do that? No, like that's the, yeah, yeah, that's a pointer type. That's not what we want. That might be what we want. Bus error. Okay, let's just stop there for now. Wrong type. Okay, I understand.
contents definitely doesn't do what you think it does. I also don't really understand why that's egg vaults. This is a U long going in here. Does this update that yet? Okay, finally. Okay, so that updates that, all right? So before, it's the ioctal address. call ioctal, or when, when this thing calls ioctal, it should call ioctal in the got, but it doesn't. This doesn't work. Uh, Where is me actually, this actually wrecks uh, Ioctal itself. Okay, that's gonna be a bus error. So let's figure out what called that. Wow, that's a terrible name. That's branching to memcomp plt, and that's what's crashing. Why is that crashing? It, it, this must be the wrong address somehow. But. What's so weird about that is it's confident that it is the address, right? Clearly updating the one marked ioctal.got.plt. Incorrect value in some registers? Bro, it's word salad. Um, I worked really hard to find this, and by that I used mem mem. I was really happy with myself for using mem mem. But my they're clearly pointers. But yet, whenever I trace it back, it's always something else that got corrupted. And I can call ioctal without trouble. Wait. 
No, but that bus hour is probably just. Even weirder, why does it think that that's ioctal? But okay, cool. Oh, because I'm still corrupting the real ioctal. That works fine. Okay. This just must not work how I think it does. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go back to corrupting the real ioctal, and then let's call this, and let's not do any of this, because this stuff doesn't matter. This crap. Delete that crap. Well, we definitely don't need that anymore. We'll actually save the call on auto. We'll get rid of that bro. We gotta clean this up, boys. So this is corrupting like the real bytes of the function. Um, and now when I call a new device, it fails as expected. But the question is, where did it fail from? Okay, this is for some reason calling into memcomp plt. Oh, I might be corrupting too much. Uh, let's just do eight bytes. Actually, we can just do four bytes is fine. Let's get to throw an illegal instruction, right? So I'm actually copying those bytes to the real. Um, that's the real IOCTA of bytes that I'm overwriting. Okay. Received illegal instruction. Uh, why does it think that that's memcomp in the PLT? So it means that this is the address that it's returning to, but for some reason it thinks it's memcomp. Control and the god is what? It's not even close. The same run? Okay, well, this is the different PLT anyway. Uh, what is it? Info files? Which PLT is this? Seven F five? Is it even valid? Um, you could turn it down. Wow, this loaded a lot of crap. Okay, seven F five C E E. 
Wow, this is a lot of crap that got loaded. Seven F five C. Seven F five graphics common. Wow, so much gets loaded when you import OpenCL. This is gonna be so great to just bypass. Uh, B E. Is there anything that starts with seven F five E? Oh, here we go. Lib GSL. Okay, good. Okay, so yeah. This doesn't work. We'd have to find the address. Okay. Okay. The problem is I'm corrupting the wrong got. Um, there's a got for the, the relocations are specific to each library. Sorry, I should have thought about this more. The relocations are specific in this case to libgsl. Um, this coffee's hitting you real jittery too. Dunkin' Donuts cold brew. Uh, yeah, so I'm not going to be able to do it like this, and we're going to have to go back to hot patching the function. Okay, well, at least we know what we have to do. So this turns out to be useless. Is this pointer used anywhere? No. We find the IO control address. So this is just getting the IO control address in libc. We need the stuff that corrupts the real function. Yeah, this is the good stuff. Um, now you'll see when I call uh, ioctl, it's kind of useless. Um, okay, illegal instruction, which is because we're just hitting that. Okay? All right. I want to take a deep breath regret all of this work coming back to something beautiful and simple ground ourselves and move forward in a clean way orion hello welcome two thousand is good so this is changing the real code in libc's ioctl. We're gonna to wanna to change this to a trampoline to call back. So let's search for arm64 trampoline and be upset. Um. We had an assembler before, here we go. Okay, let's try some ARCH64. And what if I want to do branch to assemble? Something wrong, that's not valid. ARCH64. Okay. How do I branch BR maybe? Can I do that? We can't just you can't just br to a you can't just br to a you gotta br to a register, bro. You can't just br to nowhere, man. You can't just br to a constant. Or maybe I can if I do this. Something wrong. Okay. Um. Well, ADRP garbage. Okay, so we have code that we can overwrite, but we have to overwrite it with something that is uh, totally uh, relocatable.
maybe I don't think that works either. Yeah, I probably do that maybe. Can't even do that. Okay. Let's look at the ABI and figure out which registers we can just use. I'm sure there's some we can just use. So complicated. Come on, perplexity, don't let me down. Uh, what's the ARC64 ABI? How are regs passed in and which are saved? Following registers are considered caller saved and don't need to be saved by the callee. The following registers must be saved by the callee if they have used. Okay, well, um, 16 sounds good then. We'll use 16. Okay, except we can't. Uh, can ARM64 branch directly to an address? Why do I not think this works? That's ARM, not AR64. We have a 26, a PC relative load instruction. Can we do BR like that? Mm, great. Nope. Okay, we're reaching the limitations of what this crappy, uh, No way I can control the register. No breakpoint. Thank you for gifting subs. Level six hype train. Welcome. I appreciate you. Welcome to my stream. Some of you I like. Some of you I don't. Um, but everybody is just you know trying to do their best, except for the people who aren't, like the haters and the losers. Okay. Well, that doesn't work. We need to load a value into that. Let's like disassemble my article and get ideas. So, okay, it looks like you can just move things. Can I move? That looks good. Now No, but I want to like move like an arbitrary thing. I don't know how to do that. Okay, I mean, I can put it as like the next thing. Maybe I can do this. There's no way this is going to work. Arm 64 relocate to ball trampoline code. Okay, that seems pretty good. Uh, D word. Okay, well, that doesn't work. Um, okay. Who thinks that's right? 
that's actually going to jump to data, which is not what we want. We want to load. I don't think that's right, ADRP like that. Better here, okay. ADRP, and then we want to LDR it. Okay, that should work. Um, tramp. Struct dot pack q, and we want the address of callback, which I had stuff to get before, but now I don't have it. Um, C types. It wasn't just address of. Uh, see, this is what I get for deleting everything. Level six hype train. Can you guys help me out? What required argument is not an integer, right? Um, C types not address of. But that's not right. Yeah. Okay. Let's just see what the illegal instruction is. I want to remind everybody that we're on Android, so everything just doesn't work as good or as well. All right. We're still copying that there because we have to actually copy trampoline. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for participating. Um, if you participated, if you didn't participate, well, there's always next time, okay? There's always later. Interesting. Yeah, I think that this is the problem. I don't think I actually want that. I, I had this before. I think I can do contents there. Okay, let's cast that to a pointer. Yeah, it's the same cast as this, right? So I might not need the byref there. Wait. Bros. 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 Did we just get a callback? Did we just did we just get a callback, bros? Oh, that's right. That's right. We just got a callback. Okay, now let's actually just make this shit match ioctal. Oh yeah, return minus one there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's go rat. Yeah, call the octal rat. All right, let's see if the octal actually works. Now if I return something crazy like 69 here. Yeah, minus 69, let's go. Oh, all right, we got a callback with a trampoline.
and a bite of the chemical food. Get into a pipe on function, right? Let's try to nip the CL device now. Man, I want that chemical food. We gotta eat the chemical food. Yeah, callbacks, okay. Sweet. Um, what's the type signature of ioctyl? It has an FD, no, it's more than that. No, but why is it dot dot dot? It's not dot dot dot. Remember that time we listened to music that totally wasn't copyrighted, but apparently everything's copyrighted? How lame is that? Bro, they should make copyright illegal, you know? Um. So why does this suck? How do I do this in? How do I do this in open pilot? Okay, this is my iOctal interceptor. Okay. File des request argp, okay? All right. So that's a ulong and that's a void p. And it returns an int. No wait, that's not right. Um. Types dot int. Okay, now let's do ioctal. We'll call this file des request. File des, what is this? Oh, Python's so good. Uh, request, not request. This isn't Python. Okay. See, like, look, now look at this beautiful printing we're going to get because we're in Python. All right. Don't worry, we're gonna have to restore the trampoline. We're gonna have to trampoline back. Uh, just types u int. Oh, no, no, u int. What am I doing? Um, what? C int. There we go. Look at that. Uh, let's make that a hex. Make that a hex. Boom. Look at that. We can see all the requests right there because we're intercepting ioctal from Python. And it's not even a lot of code, okay? So this was a huge waste of time, and this was a huge waste of time. And we don't need that anymore, and we don't even really need that. That's stupid too. And we don't need that. Okay. And do we care about that? Not really. This is dumb. We can just change that to that. Right. Don't need that anymore. That's stupid too. Okay, cool. All right. Look at the beautiful 26 lines of code we've written in the last all morning. Um, but we can uh, fix this now. Uh, okay. that probably okay, we have 
back up here. Alright, that's the work. Okay, great. Now we're gonna have to actually call this. Oh, I didn't think this through. Okay. Um Is that a does that work like that? Probably. This should be tramp C. And we want to put in back up. And here we want to put back tramp. Did that break anything? Broke nothing. Uh, we should be able to actually call Ioco here. Shouldn't have worked. Whatever. All right, cool. Complete hooking and unhooking. All right, now, wait, segmentation fault. Illegal instruction? No, no, don't do this. No. Oh man, this sucks. Uh, we have to flush the iCache. Python arm flush iCache. Does arm have an iCache? This has to be the problem though, right? But it worked so well that one time. I don't print here. I have to be able to print. Okay. No problems except Python arm flush my cache. Complexity, do you know about this? Is that really in libc? No, you had hallucinated this. Hallucinated.
I'm very curious how it's going to call this. Oh, Quentin's a damn liar. That's not right. Um, really, what I wish is that there was another way. What if I just call the syscall? What, what's the difference between the syscall and the... Uh, Does this use libc? If I do an ioctal from Python, does it use libc? I feel like it probably does. doesn't work but I mean actually it's an interesting idea we can remove that line if I do it from Python I don't think it's gonna work better but it's interesting is greater than maximum. Okay, how do we do in... Oh, interesting. Okay, so I have to actually call it with a... Uh... No, I need to be able to see... A C instruction doesn't work. Also, this is old. Does this apply to ARCH64? Find something for ARCH64. Um, this is actually something that one of you guys can do. Okay, signed integer is greater than maximum. Yeah, uh, that's because that's a pointer. I'm gonna have to read the pointer. Encoded in request how big it is, I believe. Um, it might just be, it might be that 940. This like, there's a special type of request here. Encoded sysioctal. I see notes. Is it a notes? Ioctal structure. Also completely arbitrary. Blah, 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 blah. IONR type NR size. Does OpenBSD is the same? You're told no. Okay, never mind. I want GPT four back. Um Do I have to use memcopy for this? I mean I could use memcopy. Okay, so one thing I could do is like 
call something like args create string buffer. There has to also be a way to just get bytes and not do this. Um, let's just assume that it's like length equals request and FFF, something like that. Uh, and then copy args rp length. Let me pass in args there. Does that work? Segmentation function, very fast. Okay, well, that's a different problem. Oh, this is probably because. No, that's clearly a pointer. I don't understand this. Oh. Invalid argument. Oh, okay, so that's not the length. How do I get the length? I've, I've done this before. I, maybe I even have it in in the need. Let's close some of these stupid windows. Close. Close. This one. What's defined? Oh. Come on, how many people are watching and none of you can help me out? None of you are like, oh yeah, I looked up like IOW. How many people are watching? Can't even get an answer on that from Around 900, 900 people watching and none of y'all can help me? All right, it's this, yeah, it's this. What, NR bits, type bits, what? Type size shift is this, DIR shift is this, okay. So we gotta go like this and then the first two bytes are DIR so I can do, Three FFF. That should be right. Invalid argument. What is an invalid argument? Not FD. I don't restore this, we're gonna get an infinite loop, right? We're gonna get an infinite loop, right? That's fine. OS error. Oh. Is that maybe allowed? Quest program is limited value event 32 bits, blah, blah, blah. Like bytes or an object supporting the read write buffer interface, like byte array. In all but the last case. The IOCTL fails, an OS error exception is raised. Interesting. Um, 
Okay, maybe that one's supposed to fail. Okay, I should have deleted. I didn't delete that. Okay. So we could still do libc.apl fd request rp and rat. And let's move this down here and say rat there. Okay, cool. Um, we don't actually need any of that. Oh. Okay, so some of these are supposed to return minus one, but not that one. And we're gonna go with segmentation fault because something's happening with my trampolines. <coughs> Do we figure out a flush? Wash iCash. Is an ARC sixty two instruction? Flush decash, flush the whole decash, flush cash user range. What? There's args, not arg Pete, bro. Like, I literally don't know if you're a troll or not, you know? I literally don't know. Like, maybe the registers are wrong. Like, I don't know. Maybe they're wrong. Um, is anyone paying attention? Is anyone paying attention, or are you just 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 just, just like background noise? Because I'm just gonna I'm just gonna turn the stream off if, if no one's paying attention. You know what I mean? Nine hundred people watching. All right. Can you follow this? Does everyone know what an instruction cache is? Why do you never teach us stuff? Because none of you pay attention. You know? See how many of you just consume this content mindlessly, and how many of you sit down and try to follow along? Right? How many of you are really like, oh, I see what he's trying to do? Can someone explain it to me? Followed, but you can't read. It's so small. Oh. You'll follow the 1.5x version? No, you won't. Who are you lying to, man? You're just here for the rants. You know what? We might be done with streaming today. We might be done. It is true. You get you get very active when I when I rant about uh, bullshit. You have no mind. I have the lowest quality audience. You're zooming, but it's blurry. Right, you're following. Good. Explain it to me. And why is this saying illegal instruction? And even worse, why is it non-deterministic? Why does it work sometime and not other times? No, it's not because of Qualcomm. No. Mystery? It's not a mystery. Does this work? Interesting. What is, um, oh, look, here, look, we found this stuff. Oh, that's nice. 
Finally, we found the good. We found the good. Uh, the good. The good file. All right. Of course, it doesn't actually have the thing I'm looking for in it, but. All right. I opt. Is that gonna work? Uh. Okay, now the question is, what if we don't back it up? What if we just literally create a better IOPTL and just use that forever and forget the one in libc? There we go, look at that. Great. Okay, don't need that. Um, don't need this. Don't need this. You just do that. Okay, sweet. Um, backups are stupid. Uh, we can move that down there. Okay, go, 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 go. Don't want to be rude, but I don't know why you so mad. Bro, bro, get banned. Get banned. Oh, you're a sub for two months. All right, I won't ban you, but like, bro. Yeah, see, at what point, at what point are you the dancing monkey, right? What, what's, what's that? Of course, it's a very copyrighted lyric, but can you tell which side of the glass you're on, right? Can you tell? Can you tell which side of the glass you're on? <sighs> we'll delete that crap. Oh, beautiful. All right, we just use libc syscall. Oh. We finally have working patchy. Yes, we have finally working patchy. Good, very good. All right, we should probably like flush the cache, but it doesn't really matter. Because I don't think we've ever called it. We're all on the same side of the glass. We're literally not. We're literally not, bro. There is literally a piece of glass between us and the camera sensor, right? It's right in the front of my Logitech C920, right? Okay, cool. Look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful. We have Python. Can you believe? Think of how many lines of code everything else would be. Oh, we don't need this. This is stupid. Delete that. Delete it. Oh, beautiful. We get libc. We get the ioctal address. We unprotect it so we can write to it. We copy the trampoline in. Trampoline is callback. Why didn't calling from libc work? It did, but my restoring of the trampoline, the NSA hot patch. Yes, exactly, exactly. Uh, okay. So I kind of wanted some of that code I deleted. We should probably start putting this in Git. Cooking works. By the way, you know we're on Android, right? Qualcomm doesn't tell you what CPU it is if you do that. It's just this processor. We have, uh, see, it tells you it's Linux, but over there it tells you it's Android. Um, 12 gigs of RAM, eight cores. This is what we're on, by the way. It's a uh, Samsung uh, Z Fold 5. No hope in Google anymore. You know, you guys make me realize that a lot of the conversations I have are stupid. Um, okay, so if we wanna get this pointer, is there some way to get access to that memory? Like I could use 
just mem copy and stuff, but that's a lot of work. All right, we'll do, we'll do what we know works for now. Uh, here, and we have the answer to, well, actually we already know what it is, okay? So we can just say length equals request, shift, shift 16, request here, go. Uh, okay. Buff equals that, libc dot mem copy, buff argp length, x dump buff. Um, segmentation fault because this needs to be a C types. Okay, so that's actually the data uh, from the string, but we don't, how do I do this? I can just cast it, right? Like we do this kind of stuff in TinyGrad. There's no like C types helpers for this. Why is C type so confusing? This is not TinyGrad. This is from a memory view. So C types cast. Like, does this work? C types dot pointer, let's say C U char. Segmentation for all day. There has to be another, there's another function like create string buffer, but it's just memory, I think. It creates a mutable character buffer. Oh, and their size. Well, at least I can just pass a size in here. Does that work? Okay, at least we're not getting the one stupid extra thing anymore. Um, fine. That's fine. Right. Uh, so those are the those are the arguments. See, these are the. Uh, That's the argument, right? Now we're gonna need to parse the structs, which gets a little bit crazier. So all these requests are, are defined as ioctal. So we can look here and we can see what actual number it is. Maybe we wanna actually break it out. Okay, so when ioctal has a number, uh, number, a type, a size for 14, and a direction. So they don't call it length, they call it size. Let's use their nomenclature. Um, size, we have number, we have type, can't call it type. What is
but either i size i type and number so that's the size for this one we want request shift shift 30 this one we want request shift shift 8 and that and for this one we just want request and that um let's break this out uh either size uh, the size hex um let me some parents here I mean, I want to build up really good tools for this because I want to do this for all the GPUs. And that next stuff's kind of annoying. Maybe it has to do with Sundar Pashai. You know what? You want to bait me? You want to get banned. Subscriber for two months. Were you a gifted sub or were you a real sub? You know, I really appreciate you sub gifters, but the problem is the gifties are not always worthy of being a subscriber. You know? All right. So where are all these ioctals? They're in the kernel. Should we go get the kernel? Z fold five kernel source. No, that's the Z fold two. Of course, that's an ad. Uh, Okay, here we go. Samsung open source. All right, let's see their confusing ass website where they do the minimum possible to comply with the GPL. And if they feel differently about it, I'm sorry for the slander. Whoa, look at that. Okay, so how do I get the release center? Mobile phone. Okay. Okay, very confusing. So what's the uh, fold five model number? All right. Search. Source. Download selected files. They must not exceed one gigabyte. My source download purpose is ETC. All right. Because those numbers are all in the kernel. All right. Of course, Samsung makes their open source download thing as egregiously slow as possible. Oh, if they make you sign up, that should be a violation of the GPL. Wait, I, I don't even like, like, is there another place to get this file? Nope. All right. Well, the good news is we can probably just get the Qualcomm uh, 8550 reference kernel. These also might just be the same as the uh, as the ones in need. So let's just take a look there. Can I have a TC here? I don't have a TC. Can I have a TC here. 
We have a TC, okay. Um, no. This is a comma very event of SSH too. GPU obj alloc is type 45. Okay, GSL type alloc is hopefully, oh, it's nine. Oh, you know what else is nine? Our type over here, okay, sweet. Um, so these actually kind of look the same. They might just be the same as this one, which means Qualcomm hasn't changed them in a long time, which means thank you, Qualcomm. I appreciate you. Okay, NR45, what's a 45? GSL GPU type ALEC. Okay, we call ALEC here 45. Look at that. Yeah, now we get an object info. Oh, sweet. Okay, so what we're doing, for those of you who are paying any attention, is there's a file in user space on Android that basically is the GPU uh, driver. But these GPU drivers, as you can see, make lots of stupid ioctals, many you probably don't need. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to extract uh, what the driver is actually doing, and then we're going to write our own compatible driver. Um, so, like, we really need to get this file in Python. Let's figure out how to do that. Um, so I released this thing called GPU C types, and we can probably use the same stuff I use here. I use this other project uh, called, I should have my own fork up. What are the odds that's going to work? Very low. Do I have Plane? What version of Plane do I have? 17.06. Kind of doubt this is going to work. By the way, we're on Android here. Just just so you know, when stuff doesn't work, it's you won't experience the same terribleness. Uh, pip install dot. Okay, playing to pi. No module named package resources. Uh, pip install setup tools. Playing to pi. Um, let's go get that. Should I put this in examples? No, I put it in extra. I shouldn't put it in examples. It's really not an example. It's really an extra. But then I have to figure out how to move it. We'll deal with that later. Um, extra, let's say it's called QCOM GPU driver. That sounds something I'll enjoy typing over and over again. Uh, Let's get that file from here. Third party Linux include MSM KGL in OpenPilot. Third party Linux include MSM KGL. I don't think it, oh, it imports Linux type and Linux ioctal. Probably things I don't have, but maybe I do have them. We will find out. Let's get that. Now let's try clang to pi that. 
source code has too many errors. Did I try pip install clang? Oh, let's go. Hmm. It's only a warning. Doesn't seem like a big deal, okay? But we are gonna need to define some of these types, apparently. So size T, unsign long. Let's see if that fixes those errors. Define a uint64t. What's a uint64t? An unsigned long? Great. Love it. Okay. That was easy. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't seem to extract the ioctals, but we do get the commands, which is cool. be a flag for that. I think there's a flag that I passed a clang to pi. Uh, that's in GPU C types generate. No, here. Here we go. Um, oh, well I can pass in an output, which is cool. Maybe they are here and I just don't see them. I don't know. Like, I think that these defines are not. It's not going to, I mean, that's all ruined by the preprocessor. So, we should be able to just extract them. If I have this stuff here. Okay. Uh, dot file. Parent slash extra Yukon GPU driver dot parent dot parent um, KGSL dot H dot read lines. Like a JIT for calls on the GPU, exactly. Uh, what POSIX path object has no, it's not read. It's like a read. This has a read. Read text. Cool. Um, That's a little annoying with the slashes. So we're gonna have to first remove those. Uh, header dot replace. Header dot replace. By the way, imagine trying to do this in C. How does anyone code in that language, man? Place that with nothing. Look at those slashes, beautiful. Okay, cool. Um, I want to filter all lines that x for x in uh, header dot. Remember when I was doing the one-liners for advent of code? Split slash n if x dot starts with uh, 
define Be nice if like this shit parsed it for me, but like you know you can't have everything. Um, yeah, you can't have everything. It's really important is that these structs work. So I should be able to from extra dot qcom gpu driver dot msi um import oh my god let's get the alex struct gpu object alec might actually be quicker to just do these by hand i know it sucks but So I created this, which should contain all the structs at least, but it doesn't contain the defines because that's only in C. I think it's called struct underscore. Okay, cool. Okay, so those are all the types. Um, if nr equals is there a way to pretty print a struct? The word that there's not, which sucks. C types pretty print struct. Get adder. Uh, eh, whatever. Wow. Is that Python 2 code? Field type ns dot. Fields. Um, I don't think it's like. Oh, maybe it is. Okay. Uh, C types dot cast uh, struct GPU type alloc rp. This is only if it's that. Go. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Is that gonna work? No, of course not. But we're gonna run it anyway. Open CLR six. Huh. Mm. Didn't like that. Wrong type. Control pointer. Uh, what? Wrong type. Ah, this, this goes there. Do that. Argument two must be a pointer type. Oh, cutie pie, you know, if you paid attention, you'd know. Uh, okay, it must be a pointer type. Okay, well, I need a pointer to that. Okay, what's it whining about now? Long pointer destruct has no attribute fields. Okay, now how do I dereference the pointer? Can I like, what if I know about a field? Can I print like s dot size?
Uh, no, but can I do s.contents.size? Maybe. Okay, that works, cool. Uh, contents. That gonna work? Yeah, buddy. Okay, now for each alloc, we can see this is the allocation right there. Size, flags, VLAN. Pretty cool. Uh, let's not do this terrible, you know, it's the future. We can give that a little bit of that. Do maybe make it hex, do that, do that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw a little uh, that in front of it, cool. Um, and actually we don't need this anymore, and I can just directly cast it. So cool. Cool. All right. Now we have Alec being called. Um, now we just like, if we can do that automatically, well, the amount of time I've wasted in C writing this stuff, because C has zero introspection. Um, we're using OpenCL, but see, we're not really using OpenCL, right? So I bet if I call another alloc here, like, Notice that that's, oh, that second alloc does do something, but actually this is kind of interesting, right? We're passing in 16, but the size that it's allocating is hex 1,000. So what if I allocate hex 2,000? See, the first alloc, so it's rounding it up to hex 1,000 and egregiously wasting your memory. Um, it seems like everything has to be page aligned, all right? By the way, I just, like everybody out there who's like using, like, 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 I think that so much of modern software development is just completely wrong. We build these abstractions and these APIs on top of things um, to try to ensure uniformity, but all of these abstractions are leaky, right? Like, so when I pass in 16, and by the way, this is, you can read the code for, uh, you can read the code here for Ops GPU, right? The code for Ops GPU here to alloc is actually just calling CL create buffer. So that's the lowest level API exposed by OpenCL. But you see that when I call this with 16, it's actually allocating four kilobytes. And I have no control over that. Also notice that all these other things are being allocated up here, um, which I didn't ask for. I don't really know what they are. It's all part of the init device. So we're gonna write a 100 line. We're going to write an entire GPU driver that's the same length as this. Um, yeah. Okay, it's going to be a little bit longer than this, probably. There's probably a bit of setup you have to do. But I want to replace all the user spaces. Uh, we can use them just for compilers. But I want all the user spaces replaced and I want the raw, I want the generic GPU driver that just works with every GPU. Yeah, you realize this when you start doing embedded stuff. The amount of absolute crap. The, the, the reason that you make a React app that uses three gigabytes of RAM on somebody's computer to basically be a button is insane. And you know, this is very, if anyone from Jonathan Blow's audience is still here, he complains about this stuff a lot. Like, The lowest common denominator, I mean, a lot of these people should just be excluded from writing software and all the software in the world would be better. I mean, like, not like excluded by anybody, but just like, like, here's, here's my bar. Here's my bar to whether you should be writing software or not. Do you understand what you are doing? All right. When you, when you write some JavaScript, right, in Chrome, do you understand what that is? I interviewed a candidate and like I was asking these questions and I was just confused by them. Like, like, what is that? What is Docker, right? How could you write your own Docker? What is JavaScript, right? If I ask you, what is JavaScript? Uh, what, what would you say?
virtual dom, eat hot chip, be bisexual, and lie. Yeah, the fuck is a virtual dom? Well, let's just see. This is what I mean. Like, like oh, I know what a virtual. Okay. So what you've done with a virtual dom is you built abstraction on top of this thing called the dom. Do you understand what the dom is, right? High level code that the browser understands. Okay, that's great. Now, when you actually run JavaScript, what happens? Right, like what's happening on your computer when you have magical JavaScript? Do you, do you know? And like, there's layers of abstraction that are kind of okay. Um, we don't hold the people in comma research. Like the people in comma research, uh, I would not be upset if you uh, didn't know what JavaScript actually did. It gets translated to C++. Yes, it translates it to C++. See, this is what I mean, like the level of stupidity. That's wrong. Do you know that's wrong? Are you trolling? The JavaScript is in nowhere translated to C++. V8 is written in C++, but that's different. All right, keep that complexity straight. So we don't hold like the people in comma research. I'm not gonna ask the person in comma research what, uh, well, how does JavaScript work? But I am gonna ask what a softmax is. And you better be able to tell me what a softmax actually is and not, well, Torch has this function called softmax and you call it, no. Why wouldn't I care about my research people knowing that? Because it's not that relevant, right? Like you can't know everything, right? But what you are working on, the piece that you are working on, right? If you think about it like a tree, right? Like a big, a big, a big, a big dag, right? A big, a big directed acyclic graph of all the knowledge in the world. You should understand all the nodes up your dag. Right? And the only way you can break the tree is if you truly have a perfect isolation, which you don't. Like math is a perfect isolation. This, right here, I'm telling it to Alex 16, and it's allocating at four kilobytes. Right? It gets even deeper, right? This just happens to be this beautiful, you know, abstraction to the kernel. But now we can get to like what's actually in the hardware. Like down to shift registers and MOSFETs? Well, kind of, right? I mean, let's see. Let's see how many, no, 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 no. If in JavaScript, you do not understand the concept of a JIT, you should not be coding JavaScript, right? You should understand what the browser is doing when it runs your code. Yeah, if you don't understand the platform, how the platform you're building on works, the software you put together is bound to be bad. Code is then a runner executed by a JavaScript engine. Okay, that's great. What's a JavaScript engine? Why should one understand any of it? I mean, you don't have to understand it, but if you don't, stop programming. Right? Like, like, like all this bad code in the world, and then the rest of the world starts to cater to bad code. The stupid APIs, the stupid libraries are built around crappy programmers. And look, I'm all for a lot of times, like, look, I'm no fan of Arch Linux or Nix or any of these things that are just nerdy, right? A lot of times the simplest thing that most people use is also the best thing. Um, a lot of times, I mean, this is also true about movies too, right? Like a lot of times the, the big name movie is also like, I mean, maybe, you know, there are exceptions to this, but a lot of times the, the popular movies in R are actually good because they work on many different levels. Um, well, yeah, no, 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 but then the frameworks build complexity on top of this. And then you have people who like, are there people out there who are coding in some JavaScript framework and don't even understand what JavaScript is? Well, because you're not actually thinking about what the computer's doing. You're not actually thinking about what you're asking it for, right? And now we're gonna build a whole new layer of abstraction on top of things, LLMs. But what's cool about this layer of abstraction is we're gonna be able to build this. Like, there's no excuse. Look, all this stuff's like open source and runs on your computer, right? You should just be reading the code. Um, or at least having a good understanding of what's actually happening. Uh, give you a job at Comma AI? Are you kidding, man? Did you do the programming challenge? 
Did you solve bounties? Like, where do you think jobs come from? The job fairy grants it to you because they like your, you know, that 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 you that you went to Harvard and then and 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 suck thick of the system. Um. This CPU does not really operate on the quantum level. You don't want any quantum shit. If you get in quantum effects, your CPU got too small. Uh, no, I, the, I mean, the, the problem, JavaScript is, 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 um, is a trash heap because, like, exactly of this, right? Like, a lot of times, I think we've done it a few times on this channel where we rip on, like, you know the low quality programming languages and also see that the that the english and the stack overflow post is also bad and it's not bad in the sense of like i'm not saying that like these are foreign people who can't speak english i'm saying that these are people who can't communicate clearly all right you you find that that you know all the foreign people you know you never really know because they learn to communicate really well in whatever the chosen language is right Communicating in, in English and communicating in programming are the same thing. Um, every programmer should understand the deep working of the operating systems. Yeah, I mean, anyone who wants to work on the other teams at Comma, you better understand what a syscall is, right? And like, not like, I don't want to hear, when I ask you what a syscall is, right? If I can, like, I can tell if what you're doing is like, reciting something you learned about what a syscall was in school. Um, I can tell the difference between that and you've actually like, for example, so here's my iocral thing, libc syscall, right? How would you know that you can libc syscall 1D and that's actually the, pretty much the same thing as libc ioctal? Um, how many people in charge of hiring can't pick up on that nuance? Yeah, right? Um, and, and like, this is why, you know, my companies don't hire many people. Like, w what needs to happen is companies need to stop tolerating people who don't understand. People who just like, oh, but they can get the job done. Like, no. What you've done is you've made a short-term trade-off. Maybe. It might not have even been good in the short term, but it definitely wasn't good in the long term. If Tiny Grad succeeds, if this project actually succeeds and goes on to become a major uh, neural network framework in 5,000 lines, I hope that everybody rethinks what they've been doing in software for the last 20 years. It's like complexity builds on complexity. Tiny grid's small enough that you can see it as the whole picture. If you put one hack in here, the hacks grow. The hacks grow exponentially because you put one hack at the low level, right? And now you need two hacks up here at this level to fix that hack, to work around that hack, right? But now you need, you know, two hacks up here to work around each one of those hacks. You have four hacks, right? And the whole thing just becomes hacks. How young do I hire? We don't discriminate based on anything. Discrimination is really stupid, right? Like if you're discriminating what you're doing, I can't believe that also. You know, a bunch of responses to my, to my tweet about the things were like, you just don't want to pay American salaries. Bro, I, take a look. I posted my salary ranges, right? I posted my salary ranges. You know, at the high end of that, it's, it's a total comp of half million. Like, and, you know, again, you can, we can debate the valuation of Tiny Corp, but, you know, this is what investors value to that and like, show you projected revenue and stuff, right? So it, it's, not a, it's not a price thing. It, it really has nothing to do with the price thing. Um, if you demonstrate to me that you can produce the value, I'm happy to pay you whatever, right? It's just not a, I'm not worried about that. Um, a lot of it is a, is, a, is a work ethic thing. A lot of it is a, you know... And this is, this is, it's, it's so sad. It's so, it's not like, you know, you're not willing to work 80 hour weeks. That's not even the problem, right? It's, you really have to care. You really do. And if you don't care, 
why are you here? Why are you in this industry? Right? Like, get the fuck out. Like, care or leave. Right? It's that simple. We're angry today. Ah. Um, and we discriminate based on two things, right? We discriminate based on skill and motivation. Um, so, you know, someone can be incredibly skilled and unmotivated and, uh, you know, we don't want them. And someone can be incredibly motivated but unskilled. We don't want them, right? But that pretty much covers the whole thing. Um, if you're here for a paycheck, please leave. You are making software worse for everybody. You are making software worse for everybody, right? This is not like, look, if you're in, a, if you're in an Amazon fulfillment center and you, uh, you know, you're there for the paycheck, that's great, right? I got my package, I don't have any complaints, right? You're below the API line. There's two groups of people in the world, right? There's the people above the API line who tell computers what to do and the people below the API line who, uh, who get told what to do by computers. If you're getting told what to do by computers, by all means, be there for paycheck, whatever. But if you're telling computers what to do, what you do and the work you do affects the industry and affects everybody else, right? So, you know, the reason we have shit, um, you know, think about that. How would you go from above the API, below the API line to above it? Okay, so we've talked about what you can't change. Uh, and what you can change, right? So it turns out things like growth mindset don't really affect anything. Uh, your IQ is fairly fixed. Even your motivation seems to be fairly fixed, right? So these things are all fixed. Um, how, much, how much motivation you have in the morning, how smart you are, fixed. Two things you can control, okay? You can, you can control your choices, you can control your habits. Um, by establishing uh, bad habits, you know, you, you, things don't get better. By establishing good habits, things get better. Things like, and good habits, this can, this can vary in, in all sorts of different ways to like, you know, um, you can like, it's this basic stuff, right? Uh, and then the other one you can change is like a, how questioned is your life philosophy, right? How, how far have you really thought it through? Um, if you are just here for a paycheck, just don't like, like, just don't. Right? You, you end up making more work for other people. And this is the really, the truly unforgivable sinners in this world are the people who exist to make work, more work for other people and know what they're doing. Right? These are the truly unforgivable sinners in the world. The, 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 like the person, you know, and the, the common example I give is the, the lobbyists for H&R Block that lobby to keep the tax code complex. The people who are literally and knowingly working to make other people's lives worse so that they can, uh, you know, continue to make money. In our world democracy, the world ain't a democracy, man. Um... Well, how much work you put in matters. It definitely does matter, right? You, you, you know, I, I like, like, like Carmack has a good take on this, right? Um, if you put in 40 hours a week into something versus 80 hours a week, you're probably not going to be twice as productive at 80 hours a week, but you are going to be more productive at 80 hours a week than you would be at 40 hours a week. It's pretty obviously true. Um, So, but it's also, it's a lot of it is a question of what you're working on and why you're working on it, right? If you find yourself in a place where you are entirely just thrashing under complexity, where all the layers below you have too many hacks in them, like this is how things start to, uh, you know, start to collapse. It depends on your mental stamina. Like again, the things you can control are your habits and like your, life philosophy and choices, right? Again, if you're showing up to software for a paycheck, please quit. Right? You can actually do that. That's a decision that you can make. And we don't live in a dream society. We don't live in a dream society, okay? Uh, millions of people continue to die every year. Uh, we're on a single planet. Uh, we don't have fully immersive virtual reality. Uh, you know, we're, we're not in a dream society. There's so much further that we can go. When we have, 
you live in the culture, fine. You know, you live in the culture from the, 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 the Ian Banks novel. You're a human born into that world. You're a human born into a world with minds. Great. You're wired at it, right? right? Do whatever you want. But we're not there. We're not there yet. Um, the workforce landscape is going to change drastically. Right, I think we're at the end of this stream. Uh, I think actually this is a pretty good stream today. Uh, I will commit this, but hopefully under everyone understands what we built here and how you can go from this to building GPU drivers, right? The next step is figuring out more of these IO controls. The next step is writing code to call the IO controls yourself. Um, and then that's a GPU driver, right? You just got here. Well, welcome. Uh, no, it's really not understandable, right? If you want money, there's a lot of easier ways to get money. Um, again, whatever, you know, truly, if you're truly in something that, that, that is that's isolated from everybody else and you're doing it to make money, whatever. The, the problem is when you're making money at the expense of other people. And you have to think about that, not first order effects, but second and third order effects. Think every day about what you're doing and whether what you're doing in its second and third order, you know about second and third order effects? You know, there's this famous story where um, there's like a frog infestation on, uh, on an island and the Brits uh, offered 10 cents per uh, dead frog people brought in, right? Um, so, you know, this was, we'll get rid of all the frogs, right? 10 cents a frog, that's great. First order effect, less frogs. Second order effect, some entrepreneur, entrepreneurial people are like, well, what if I breed frogs in my basement, then kill them, then bring them in and earn big money? So a whole bunch of people started doing this. They earned tons of money bringing in the frogs that they bred in their basement. The British are like, people are scamming us. Uh, we're going to stop doing this. Uh, so, you know, uh, we're going to stop giving the 10 cents. So guess what happened? All the people who were breeding frogs released them. And now you had more frogs than before and you lost money, right? If you were the frog breeder, you're evil. You're evil. Um. All right, well, let non-subscribers talk, see if non-subscribers have anything to say. No shot, anyone is actually putting in 80 hours a week? I work more than 80 hours a week, bro. When I'm actually working? IOU ring internals? What is this used for? I've never used this. I've never used this before. Like you, I've seen this stuff in the kernel, but I've never seen it exposed to user space before. Wow. So what do I think about Google limiting this? Like all I just heard is that there's lots of great security vulnerabilities in, uh, by the way, uh, fun fact, if you, uh, if you root this, if you figure out a user space exploit to root this, say, for example, in the Qualcomm GPU using the Ioctals, you root this too, it's the same chip. 
Um, so if someone wants to root the quest three, it's the same route as that. I'm too old for this, right? But where are the kids? Where, 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 where are the kids who pick up the torch? It's not harder today. What should companies do if they can't find strong specialists? From she was not 18. It's better to start somehow than tell investors we can't find anyone. Ugh. Dude, like, I don't know. Why'd you take money if you can't make progress on the problem yourself? You know? Like, just sit down and start making progress yourself. And then like eventually figure out what you're doing every day and find someone who can come in and do what you're doing. If you took money for a project that you can't make any progress on yourself, give the money back. Um, you can sell zero day for cool one mil. Why would you sell here? Don't sell the zero day. Like, Multiple times, like I like tried to sell exploits, but then like it's just like why why do this? You know, it's like not worth it, man. Um, do pawn to own, right? Like at least everyone gets to see the exploit. Pawn to own's cool. Uh, these tiny grad optimized for M three ISA. I mean, the metal compiler's pretty good. I don't know if we know the M three ISA yet. Let's see. Uh. There's a project called Apple GPU. Let's see if they've updated it all for uh... any issue. No. I looked at it and the, the ISA looked totally different, but I might have just did something wrong. Yeah, that's the wrong way of thinking. What do you mean, what percent is written by AI, right? Written by AI? There's no difference. People think there's this thing called AI, right? Like, what do you think AI is? You used an editor, was that AI? You used autocomplete, was that AI? Right, you used fuzz testing, was that AI? Like... Now imagine running actual models on Quest 3. I mean, TinyGrad will install without root. You can ADB into it and install TinyGrad. Um... Do you think having soft skills is the key to succeed at every job? I mean, yes, but there's a lot of overemphasis on what soft skills actually are, right? Like, like people uh, conflate soft skills with like agreeability. And this just isn't, that's not what it means, right? Like soft skills mean like the ability to to, to read social cues, right? Not, and the soft skills are yeah, kind of like a, but the, 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 for that, it's yeah, it's like a requirement for life. Um, oh, Dragon Sector you're pulling some trains? Like, cool. I don't have a tricor, Infinity on tricor. Uh, No, reading social cues is not, it's not as complex as you think it is. A lot of this stuff is like overthought. It's not even like reading social cues as much as like being able to empathize. And by empathize, I don't mean feel bad for or sympathize. I mean actually to put yourself in somebody else's shoes and think through things from their perspective. That's all that means. Is anyone currently working on integrating AI with debuggers? Everyone's working on integrating AI. It's probably a Sharpie's gonna have AI. It's a Sharpie with AI. It warns you if you're about to write on a surface that you probably don't wanna write on. Like if you ever used a Sharpie on a whiteboard, don't worry. New Sharpies with AI will prevent that. Um, Mary Evan, thank you for gifting more subs. Just wanna say you hate HR. Well, I mean, it's one of the most demeaning, human resources is one of the most demeaning terms in the world. Um, the fact that companies with a straight face will have an, a human resources department. Well, you see, we have our iron ore resources over there. We have our human resources over there, right? It's just dehumanizing. 
Um, well, it's packed with people who are willing to dehumanize others. Well, commies and idiots sounds about right, right? Um, she was not 18. Thank you for gifting subs. Uh, I love this. I love this culture of gifting subs. This is, this is nice. I've been making some money off Twitch lately. I don't have to buy this phone. Um, people ops is better. No, people ops is better as long as that's genuinely what it is, right? You have DevOps and people ops. That's fine. HR is the globalist backdoor. I mean, there is some truth to that, right? There's some truth to how the, like, you, you have to be very careful when you start interacting with the system. Like, like the, the, yes, they are trying to, they are trying to backdoor your company effectively, right? Like the, the Nazis would do this explicitly. The Nazis just had a rule that says if you had a company in Nazi Germany, you had to have one Nazi party member on your board, right? In America, you know, we try to do this in all sorts of subtle ways, right? We do it with things like compliance. We do it with things like diversity, but it's the same basic idea, right? Um, you need to have one underrepresented minority on your board, right? It's basically the same thing as, you know, you need to have one Nazi on your board, right? It doesn't have to be, whoa, whoa, whoa. Your board doesn't have to be controlled by Nazis. We just need someone in there, right? Um... Intel gives employees a 10K bonus if they recommend a diverse candidate. I mean, I'd like to see lawsuits for all this stuff, right? This stuff's illegal. Um, you know, it's, it's illegal, and it should be, to discriminate based on race, uh, to, to, to use race in the hiring process. Uh, you know, it, it just, it's, it's, it's racist. There's no other word for it. Um, it's a damn shame that, you know, the, the, these racists have this, this like, they, they have this, like, well, it's not racism, it's reverse racism. You don't understand, man. I'm not punching you in the face. I'm reverse punching you in the face. Right? Like, what, what's the difference? Um, it is racism, regardless. I mean, this is this is this is one of the death blows to the uh, to the globalist American empire. I, I just, you know, I, I see that reply from the Dubai guy, and it's like, look, there's a lot of stuff I like about America, but. This country is really going in, you know, it's going in the wrong direction. And, and this isn't, I'm not saying this is like a conservative, right? I'm not saying this is like, I don't like the social progress that's been made. No, I'm saying this in the sense of like, like, where's the, where's the, where's the train? Where's the high speed train in California, right? Where's the infrastructure? Where, where's the, where's the new buildings? Where's the new better stuff? Um, I mean, the Ivy League schools, uh, I used to have a saying, like, this ends with tanks on the Harvard campus. Maybe it still does. You can say thank the car lobbyists for the bad train network. This isn't really actually the problem. Like, the problem is that you can't make lobbying illegal, but what you can do is not give the government any power that's worth lobbying for, right? As long as that power exists, people will spend money to try to capture it. But what, why does the government have a say in whether Elon can launch a rocket or not? Right? What, why, does the, why do you have to get a wildlife fish and game permit to launch a rocket, right? Um... Do I vote? No, no, voting is a, it's a psychological trick, basically. You feel like complicit in the system because you voted for it. But the problem is all the real decisions are made. Look, if your two choices in 2024 are Trump and Biden, the, the what you've missed is all the selection before that, right? We, we, have, we, have, we have 350 million people in this country, right? Why are the choices the same two, and they happen to be the same two who ran in the last election? This isn't democracy, right? It's, 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 I mean, South Park does as well. It's like the douche and the turd. Like, that's, that's what it is. Um, and the empire collapsed. Look, hey, Bin Laden's, you know, Bin Laden's laughing in his grave, man. He did it. He did it. Good on him, you know? He, he succeeded. He brought down the American empire. Uh, with a lot of the same things that brought down the Soviet empire. 
Uh, do I think there's no point in needing permission to launch a giant rocket? Not really. Right? Like, what are you worried about? Are you worried about your neighbor might build a giant rocket and launch it? For some reason, I doubt it. Um, no, it's not marketing. It, it has nothing to do with marketing budgets, right? Uh, it, it has to do with whether you're, you're you know, in the nobility or not, right? They just, they just do it a little bit differently. It's the same thing that's existed in every, you know, in every, in every oligarchy, right? There's no, there's no, there's the, the class of people who can run, right? It's kind of funny. Like, they made Donald Trump out to be this whole bad guy. But, you know, Donald Trump was at the same parties as Bill Hillary Clinton, right? Imagine Hillary Clinton, instead of, you know, taking the thing that she did, was like, hey, Trump, you know, look, we were at that party. Hey, I remember, remember, that, uh, remember that party back in 92? Right, because that's really, but, but that, you know, that would, you wanted to attack Trump successfully, you do that, right? Um, but it's the same, it's the same class, and it's not you, and it's not anyone who represents any of your interests in any real way. Um, stick to tech where I know it well. No, trust me, I know this stuff well, too. I know this stuff well too, and why are you saying that, right? Why are you saying that? What are you, what are you clinging to, right? I can't believe, you know, some of the responses to my, my, my tweet yesterday, right? Like, it, it was actually, it was more attacks from right-wing people than left-wing people. Um, well, no, I mean, this is, this is one of the, this is one of the, the, the techniques they use. No, but it's just like, you're wrong and I'm right, right? I've spent a lot of time thinking about this. There's a lot of stuff that I don't know much about, right? If you ask me about like, uh, you know, what it takes to, to farm carrots, right? Like, I don't know that much about farming carrots. You might know more than me about it, right? Um, but when it comes to what actually makes countries and empires successful over the long term, I've spent a lot of time thinking about this lately, uh, right? Well, no, like, so you start thinking about your life. You start thinking about what's going to affect your life outcome in 30 years, right? And you, you don't want to be uh, you don't want to be boxer from Animal Farm, right? You don't want to be the guy who just says, I will work harder, right? The whole farm is rotten, right? Don't be boxer. Was the, was the horse? Oh, I'm not a Machiavelli. I'm telling you, this is actually what makes... Like, and I guess it's the same, it's the same, like, like, group of people that needs to, I guess the D cells, it's the same group of people, it's the people who don't genuinely want progress. And I'm not talking about progress in some vague social sense, right? Some people may think that's unprogress, but I hope everybody agrees that a plane that goes faster is better than a plane that goes slower. I hope everybody agrees that having the option to have planes is a whole lot better than having the option to have covered wagons and having the option to have teleporters and hyperloops is better than having planes. I mean, a sonic boom is a technical problem and you can deal with it. It's my opinion on climate change. I think that it's a technical problem and it needs to have a technical solution. And no amount of histrionics or shame or guilt are, you know, appropriate for what's a fundamentally a, a scientific issue that has, you know, you can talk about the potential bad effects of climate change. You can talk about ways to mitigate them, right? Uh, I don't want to hear some histrionic about how New York is going to be underwater in 10 years. Like it won't, right? And I would like to have that person, if that person truly believes that, can they bet me their life savings, right? Bet me your life savings, that New York will not be underwater in 10 years, right? Prediction markets. Um, I don't know anything about the FISA court law, law. The more you start like learning about this stuff, they, uh, 
it rewires your brain to think like it's a mind virus. Well, no, but it's not a money and economy question, right? The problem is the money's fake, right? If the money were real, a lot of this would be fixed. So it's a lot harder. The, the, a level of a scam you can run is much smaller when the money's real. Right? Fundamentally, you have to tie it back to value. And uh, one time I went to this event six, seven years ago now, and it was this, the head initiative was there and this guy from DCVC was there. And like, I remember so vividly, like saying perception is not reality. And he disagreed with me. Right? Like, perception is not reality. The map is not the territory. Um, I'm not sure, like, a political party can drive change. Uh, like, I mean, America's had these revolutions before. You can go back to, look at what FDR did. Right? So the Great Depression happens, FDR shows up, establishes all pretty much the agencies that exist today, and they had a good 30 year run with them. Um, you need something that looks like that. You need something that basically looks like a coup. Uh, and I don't think that comes from a political party. I don't think I'm capable of doing it. Um, Well, I mean, look, if there's no such thing as real reality, why don't you jump out a 10th story window, right? And see what happens. Don't worry, the ground's not real. Like, um, no, it's just, it's just sad to be in a, in a declining empire. And similar to the Roman Empire, like, there's not really anywhere to go. Well, don't jump out of a building if you believe the ground is real. If you believe the ground's fake, I mean, you'll find out. Um, you're sounding like Ray Dalio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I watched. I watched this stuff on this. Um, All right, before you jump out the 10th story window, why don't you just jump up and see if you hit the floor? All right, just try that, nice and safe. Do, do a small experiment first, guys. Um, no, I'm not sure Dalio's pessimistic, right? Like this, this, especially this indefinite optimism. I mean, the effective altruists are probably the same people that are in the deep state. Right? It's a similar, it's similar ideas. Well, okay, it's more like the Roman Republic turning into the empire. Maybe. Maybe. We have 200 more good years. I mean, that'd be great. We need a Caesar. Um, for the youth out there, are you in America or not? You're in Germany. Uh, Europe has... If you're in Sweden and Denmark, I know less about. If you're in mainland Europe, I mean, you're in a museum largely. Um, wow. Are, are most people here not in America?
a very uh, a very diverse crowd. Just do a poll. All right. It's this website, right? Does this work? Oh, you can do polls on Twitch? Well, I'm in America. Wow. Uh, I mean, I should have broken Europe down. I mean, had I known, yeah, Europe is a whole lot of different things. Uh, I should have broken it down. Into, I mean, I guess, yeah, if you're in like Denmark or Sweden, I guess you'd say Europe as well. Even though like, I guess I should have broken Europe into like Eastern Europe, Western Europe, Nordic and, and, uh, and, and Britain. Um... Interesting. I mean, Europe seems to be Portugal's not Eastern Europe, bro. Um, yeah, where are you other people from? I assess, all right, all right. What's up, San Diego? I spelled Canada wrong? Yeah, I probably did. It's Canada. Yeah, I mean, Europe is a museum, right? Like, what does anybody expect the next like great thing to to come out of to come out of France, to come out of Germany? Right? Like Italy? No, like they're just not. There's no way in hell. Many good scientists do come out of Europe. Um, Mistral is from France too, but again, you you know, look at look at the Look at where Mistral comes from, right? I mean, I I'm talking about like on a, so, you know, Fr France, France is one I, I like to like pick on in particular. Um, so like France's GDP per capita has been completely stagnant since 2008, right? Can I see the graph? All right. So like France peaks there, Taiwan in that period of time almost doubles. All right. So when does Taiwan, when does Taiwan cross over France? my graph All right 
Okay. Singapore and France are pretty closely tracking. You know, one country embraces deceleration, the other country embraces acceleration, and that's what you get. Should I move to Singapore? Yeah, I mean, work and life are the same thing, and that this got like mixed up. Like the other option besides work is basically some form of wire heading. No, but like, okay. I mean, it's not quite at uh, France's level yet, but there, you know, right? The, the, the Chinese lift out of poverty. Yeah, I've had machine guns pointed at me in Europe too. That's true. It's the only country where I have. Um, yeah, the, the anti-nuclear stuff. Look at India versus Britain. I mean, India... Um, well, all right, so, so here's, here's, here's an interesting one. All right, we'll do, we'll do uh, UK versus US. All right, the UK has that same stagnation. The US doesn't, which is interesting. Um, but I argue that most of this is basically scamming. I, I, mean, I don't know. I actually don't know. Th this is an interesting... This is an interesting number to show America's working, actually. Okay, some, 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 some white pill on America. And the U.S. has delivered immense growth. And, like, it is actually hard to say that that growth isn't real. Like, it's sort of real. Well, yeah, so the U.S. is the global empire, and, you know, this is um, share of world's money in USD. Uh, can you show me a long-term graph for this? Uh, no. Uh, this is probably right. But I mean, I'd like to see it as a... Uh... I've seen this graph before. Can someone find a good one? I want this, but going back further. Okay, do not expect that to make noise. Why is this not a graph? All right, well, I mean this, it's this, but graph. Can I see this as a graph? Can I see this video as a graph, please? Um, so, okay, America's on the rise. You're right, look, 9-11. So here you are at, I mean, that's peak America, right? Okay, so, so you have, the whole world is using British pounds. Um, peak Britain, peak Britain is 1946, right? Something happens in Britain, America explodes. Peak America, I mean, America does come back again. Okay, okay, this is kind of... Nineteen, yeah, like the year we went to the moon is peak America.
All right, here's where we are today. I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we shouldn't be so bearish on uh, on America. Wow, the French used to have their own currency. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, nineteen. Wow, you're right. It correlates perfectly with that. I love this website. If you've never seen this. Um, this is why you're getting scammed. If you're not, if you're in America and you're not making enough money, this is why you're getting scammed. Basically, the top 1% have figured out how to like steal the money. Uh, 2023 is a lot worse. Yeah. The Russia sanction, you know. Bricks. Bricks. Um... I mean, I, I, I love the idea of a multipolar world. I don't know. What seems to happen, though, is these things decline and they don't come back. USA does have sick geography. That's so true. The entire world basically subsidized American living beyond its means. Yeah, that's pretty true. Uh, pay you in crypto? I'm happy to. We pay bounties in either crypto or PayPal. You can choose. The USA doesn't have me. I continue to be a patron of the United States until it collapses further. Then I will not. All right. Uh, we'll raid Lana Lux. I'm going to do at. Am I doing this wrong? I, I vote no. I can't figure out how to do this. How did I ever do this in the past? Everything, computers are so hard to use. Ugh. It doesn't work. Oh, there we go. Thank you for watching today's stream. Uh, everybody, the, uh, you know, I don't know, man. Empire might be okay. Some white pills, some black pills. Stop being a noob, be smarter, be better. You can change your habits and you can change your life philosophy. You cannot change your intelligence or your motivation, but you can change those other two things and that would be a great start to fixing the world. Thank you, everybody. Enjoy your weekend.